random number generation. This is episode 60, Metroid Dread Randomizer. Yes, you heard that right. Metroid Dread Randomizer with Duncan and Saul, Dark Zero, and Kirby Master. I'm so excited for this episode. By the way, I'm Skybuild. I am the host of RNG. Real quick before we get started, though, a few notes from Games Done Quick. SGDQ 2022 remote volunteer app applications are coming up. If you'd like to help with any of our off-site volunteering positions, go to gamesdonequick.com for more information. Registration is also open until May 23rd. Be sure to register if you will be attending our live event in Minnesota. The games list is out and stay tuned for the schedule coming out this weekend on gamesdonequick.com. Also very excited about this, Frame Fatale will be having its next all-women speedrunning event, Flame Fatale, in late August. Game and volunteer submissions open May 9th. Go to gamesdonequick.com slash Frame Fatale for more information. And with that being said, hello everyone, how are y'all doing? It's, uh, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, me too. Absolutely. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I all week I've been hyping this up, you know, in my community mm -hmm. and, and folks have every single time have told me, wait, Sky, there's no Metroid Dread randomizer. Is that a th <laughs> I'm like, it is a thing, believe it or not. Would you all like to talk about the brief but very uh, thorough history of Metroid Dread randomizer before we get started? Yeah, gosh. Well, so the game's been out, what, six months? Um... And basically, we got really, really lucky. <laughs> um, this game has been very easy to reverse engineer in a lot of ways. We lucked out in that Mercury Steam set things up so that almost every file format in the entire game follows a standard format that we were able to crack within like a couple months. Uh, Dark did a whole bunch of the work for that, um, as well as me. And from there, we were just flying. So, you know, a huge part of the work as well was getting the Logic database set up. Kirby Master here basically wrote the skeleton of the entire Logic database wow. single-handedly. <laughs> Fun times. Berenia has a... I have a lot of words to say about Don't Berenia's Don't get him started logic. on Berenia. We'll have lots to say when we get there. <laughs> Like, what are the Yeah. We'll get into it later. <laughs> and then, of course, Dark, in the meantime, has been doing a ton of work, um, not just on the patcher, but on Randomania itself. This is a Randomania mm -hmm. uh, randomizer. So it's the same program that handles the Metroid Prime randomizers and uh, Cape Story, and there's a Super Metroid support in it as well. Uh, Dark is the lead developer for Randomania, and so he's done a ton of work on the program to handle all the new features that were required for Dread Rando. So that's kind of what we've gotten figured out in the past six months. Now there's still a lot more left to do and we'll get into some of the details as we start playing, but that's sort of the very brief history as you asked. Of course, of course, and there is a lot of ground to cover here in this randomizer. We do have a three hour estimate, so we do want to get started. Are you ready to go, Dunk? Yeah, just about. Um, I'll just First off, hi, I'm Dunk, uh, Dunk and Salt. <laughs> um, and for anyone wondering, I don't speedrun Metroid Dread, but I'm okay at it. And my routing is quite good. So. And you know what? It'll That's be okay because the randomizer can be made for any and all skill levels, whether you know how to do all the fancy tricks or if you know how to do zero tricks at all whatsoever. Yes, that's absolutely right. I'm playing on trickless logic, but I'm probably going to be doing a couple of tricks here and there as I go. Um, otherwise, Kirby, Dirk, do you want to introduce yourselves very briefly here? Yeah, I am Kirby. I uh, speed run a lot of games and helped with the logic for this Metroid Dread and play randomizer suit. They're pretty fun. Hi, I'm Dark Hero, and I most spend my first much time working with Handovania and making these randomizers. So it's fun, but like I managed to finish my first bad suit yesterday. Surprisingly <laughs> enough. <laughs> You've gotten close a few times before, but the randomizer was broken. Yeah, you, and you, like there's just a lot of stuff you need to like be able to handle the last boss reliably, mm -hmm. especially if you're not practiced that, especially if you haven't like speed ran it or whatnot. So yeah, there we are. Now, I'm gonna get started right away here. First thing, I'm just gonna point out on the title screen, you can see we've got the uh, 
randomizer info at the bottom that shows the version of the randomizer. This is a dev build, and it shows the seed hash. Missile plasma catarys. Now, a couple things that are worth noting. Um, we don't use the same timing as like regular speedruns. Um, I'm just going to start when I hit new game for a couple of reasons, which you'll see. Um, and I'm going to be playing on rookie mode because I like it better. I think it's more interesting to do in rookie mode. And if that's how you prefer it, then that's perfectly okay. Yeah, uh, rookie mode and normal mode both have, they're, like they're, those are both the normal uh, in logic. They're not gonna hurt anything. Hard mode and dread mode can be tricky because some tricks expect you to take damage. That doesn't gonna, it's not gonna matter in trickless logic like I'm doing here, but it's important to keep in mind. Rookie and normal are generally the safe ways to go. So I'm gonna, count down and we'll start as soon as I press accept here. So let's go in three, two, one, start. Woo! Luck! Vanilla Corpius. Right. Vanilla Corpius. Here's hoping. <laughs> so one thing you'll notice right away, and part of the reason we don't use the same timing as uh, vanilla speedruns, is the unskippable introduction thing has been removed in Rando. Um, we also have it set up so that any cutscene can be skipped, no matter what. Um, anything that is a cutscene can be skipped, and anything that can't be skipped isn't a cutscene. But here we are. We're in the game. You're going to see some examples of things that are and aren't cutscenes right away here. I noticed that you started I'm just gonna with get started. 30 missiles instead of 15. That's rookie mode, baby. Oh, that's a rookie mode. I never actually played rookie mode, so... I love rookie mode. Okay, I it's... learned. 30 missiles, and then you get more drops. I knew about to drop the extra drops. Here's the first big change for everyone. You'll notice that A, the doors didn't lock in the Adam room, and B, Adam is actually helpful. Okay, Ooh, early okay. Very, it looks like. So Adam gives us hints. Bless his heart. Yeah, and for those who might not be familiar with the term progressive, what progressive means is that, um, if you get any the item that the upgrade that you get depends on how You'll many never of seen those that you get. Scene get skipped, by the way. Oh yeah. So in the case <laughs> of progressive suits, since gravity suit generally obsoletes Varia suit, they're both gonna be the same upgrade. If you get one of the two upgrades, you get Varia, and if you get both of them, you'll get gravity. And there are several other upgrades like that that are progressive just due to the nature of um, Metroid Dread's upgrade system. Like at the moment, all beams are progressive, so I think there are three beams in the game. Yes. Three beams, two suits. I've got progressive bombs enabled. Okay, here's a spider magnet. This is a custom pickup model. Um, many of the items in the game don't have models, so we had to get those figured out. And here's something you don't see often. Everything broken Emmy. Everything that comes from the boss. So all the Emmys and the Kozuna and uh, Ask you. They need the custom pickups. Yeah. But yeah, progressive, there's also the progressive spin, spin boost and uh, space jump. Uh, I've probably forgotten one more, but I think we have four different ones, right? Uh, there's more than four. We've got beams, suits, bombs, Science. missiles, spin boost, um, and charge. Oh yeah, charges. Charge yeah, charge is yes. progressive with diffusion. So there's six sets of progressive items. Uh, we're playing with all the progressives including bombs. Uh, bombs aren't progressive by default, but I like it better that way, and I'm probably going to make it the default. Um, I'm also not going to do early cloak here, mostly because there's absolutely no need for me to since I just picked up Spider Magnet. Spider Magnet is a surprisingly important item. Even if you have items like Space Jump, or can like infinite, or like Grapple Beam and such, uh, there are a lot of spots, like that door, for example, that just hard requires Spider Magnet. Like, you can't actually lower that wall with any other upgrades. You have to have Spider Man in itself. I'm gonna go for it. Are you going for the. Oh, okay. I'm gonna Ooh. go for it. We'll see. We'll see. It's worth the yeah. info, if nothing else. It is. So, um, a lot of Metro randomizers, if you're not careful, it, a lot of Metro randomizers tend to have like one way paths or paths that lock you. So, it's very easy to soft lock yourself if you're not careful, um, which is different from people who might be more used to like Zelda randomizers where you can safely quit almost anywhere. Um, so in the Metro Randomizer, you do have to be aware of like potential one-way paths, or you have to take into account like, can you escape after getting this check? 
So taking safety saves and such is important. And with Rage Dread, it's kind of has these everywhere. And some, some more. The Dread has just a lot of locks and gates in general, which makes, I mean, honestly makes a randomizer mm. interesting, in my opinion, anyways, because just. Oh, something worth pointing yeah. out also is uh, there's a health bar at the top of the screen. Oh, oh yeah, uh -oh. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, time to shoot the. <laughs> Let's get some drops. The health bar and the damage numbers that you can see sometimes, those are cosmetic settings exposed by the randomizer. This should do. <laughs> I was, uh... I forgot that I didn't have charge, so missiles are helpful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, I called it! I called it! I called it! <laughs> Oh my I God. called it! <laughs> Vanilla Corpius! It was worth it! It was worth it! <laughs> it's not rare. Oh my God. It happens quite well. often, but it's too fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, Gatsum so Cloak this, is weird. Cause it's like... This actually does mess with some stuff. Um, I'm gonna need to find a good way to route in the first Emmy. There's charge. Let's get this in. But yeah, I need to route in that first Emmy cutscene because things are kind of weird if you don't trigger the first cutscene with the Emmy. We'll see how this goes. But both suits this early, so wait. So like, okay, it was Artaria and Dairon. Yes. Yeah, the first one was Artaria. Yeah. Okay. So speed booster. Let's speed go. Speed booster. That's All right. Custom model. I think it was the... Shane who worked on the custom models, or am I thinking of uh, else? the custom models? Like the full-on custom models were made by uh, Big Sharks Z, uh -huh. who is an incredible modder texture artist. Yo, diffusion! Oh, that, that was a diffusion. Nice. See, again, that's technically a charge beam, um, but since charge beam is progressive, all right, this is this is what I'm one you get just gives you diffusion beam. This is not in logic. And what we mean by in logic is that the logic doesn't expect you to, doesn't require you to do All the right, shine I hope I don't die. Get this. But I'm gonna die. Oh, oh no! <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I should get a cutscene at, or did I save it, Adam? This is okay. I'll make sure to not get hurt this time. But it's so worth getting diffusion there. Diffusion is very helpful. Yeah, it yeah. is. Uh, by the way, chat, there's no tracker because I didn't make one in time that I liked enough. <laughs> yeah, this is also um, like a experimental a game, missile. work in progress game. So. I did not realize you can see that item from there. Today I learned. Yeah, if you aim down. <laughs> I, okay, wow. should be good this time. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow, nice. Okay, so that's diffusion this early? That's awesome. Yeah, I think gen like to get get out of Artaria, you generally need either a Varia suit or um Phantom Cloak, which you do have Phantom Cloak. But Ooh. what is that? Mom? There's oh. Varia. Oh, there's Varia. Okay. Um, nice. Morph also gets you out through Red Teleporter. Oh, uh, yes, that's true. Or uh, speed, speed, and on or your you need Varia to get through that way, don't you? Probably. Because yeah, the the Dire and Elevator is hot. Mm -hmm. So there's Varia. You'll notice it doesn't update the model right away. Um, that's because the game crashes if you do that while holding a Shine Spark or something. So we just delay it. Um, for the sake of the viewers, I'll actually... I don't want to die here. Oh, no. I'll, I'll take a moment and uh, get that visible. I'll just save here. Oh, people say baby seed. <laughs> you guys don't know Dread Random. <laughs> Dread. I, I think, like, the first seed, Dark Zero stream, he didn't get charged for like four hours. Yeah. yeah. You guys you guys don't uh, know. Uh, so I'm Dread. just going to reload from the checkpoint here, and uh, that'll give us very visible. I don't remember. It was like 37 progression items total, or I. Yeah. It's, just, it's a giant number. Like, you really, this, really This big. game has some nonsense. Oh, sweet. Energy tank. That would be kind of nice. An energy tank that I can't get. 
Oh yeah, you don't have morph ball. I don't have morph. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're not supposed to have morph here anyways. That's the game's way of teasing you up. Oh, haha, there's an upgrade here, but you don't have morph. How could you possibly get this item? Hmm. The game teases uh, you so much like that. It's I should check lovely. this item, I guess. Uh, we could talk a bit, a bit about how to play this. Uh, there are two ways of uh, to be support for playing this. Oh, wow. Uh, it's okay. more uh, One of them is playing on a modded uh, Switch, which we would need to have like these old style, old launch, whatever models that you can just run soft Oops. mod. If you do that, it's quite easy to run. Uh, and then you can also dump your own game, because we're responsible persons. Uh, the others play on emulator. We support the Real Jinx emulator. If you can try playing your Yuzu, but we don't guarantee anything. But if it breaks, we're not going to help you. <laughs> if it breaks, we're going to tell you to try on Real Jinx instead. Yeah, precisely. I'm going to check Vanilla Grapple. What should be Grapple? If it, oh my god, dude. Can you imagine? <laughs> I've, I've been one, on, one out of one so far. I did have two familiar items yesterday. Yeah, this is where you normally get grapple beam in the vanilla game. And if I don't find the grapple beam here, I'm gonna... The soft lock. Yeah. Oh, bad. No oh, well. That's why I save. Yeah, the only way to get out of there is if that happened to be grapple or if you already had grapple. So you do have to be aware of that. Oh, that puts the checkpoint that. there. That's convenient. I didn't even need to save. So this is slightly weird without the um, Emmy, but should be fine. What are we? That's just a, a missile. missile tank. Um, somebody remind me to check the ball spark because that's accessible. There's an item oh. down here you can check. And also take the red teleport. I'll take that. Yeah, this oh. lets you show off another feature. Yes. Yeah. So, look at the health. Reason a feature in which energy parts give you the energy immediately. So I have 25 extra max energy. We're gonna check red. I'm going to grab one item here, and it's worth the two loading zones. Because, dear God, you don't want to miss this item if it's important. Hey, I think you can kill Craig. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what? You have Varia suit, you have Morph Ball. I have Varia Morph and Diffusion. Oh my God, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can. Oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> it's going to be painful. And I'm not sure if you can leave because you need... I have diffusion. You have, have diffusion. I have you diffusion can take the magnet. teleport to teleport take you again. This is all right. So what we're doing here, everyone, is called a bad idea. It's a randomizer. Randomizers are full of bad ideas already. Ooh, you're not saving. I mean, is it a no? I have an earlier save. Oh yeah, fair. Is it a bad idea or is it a bad idea though? You know, there's like this... a difference, right? <laughs> this, this is. <laughs> Oh, so I like how you dipped into the lava there, but a lot of people actually didn't know you could shoot the wall that's over the I lava. I know I can, I just choose not to. Yeah, I don't blame you. I'd be lazy too. You don't have wide beam. <laughs> how did you learn about that, Kirby? Uh, I did a lot of damageless challenges for this, and I did finally succeeded a few months ago, beating this game 100% damageless. That was fun. And then they announced Red Mode. Yeah, like literally one week after I finish this game damage. Let's see, I now it's dread, but I'm like, wow. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I got away with that camera. Uh, oh, that was a bad jump. Oops. I cannot stress enough how the foolish this the, is. the randomizer does take into a lot account, like, destroying these blobs from the other sides and stuff, so... These are some the pseudos. See, that zero would not be in logic, then. Yeah. But you're just doing okay, neither of these. Okay, Our so bombs. that's a puny okay. tank, which I'm not going to grab because I'm going to check Kraid. Because I don't even remember if Kraid has an item in this preset. But we'll see. I don't have bombs, so I can't check that. 
Yeah, one of the changes we, we, we made, like we made a few changes to the game recently to try to like improve uh, the randomizer. One is that you never had a reason to fight crit. Never. Ever. Yeah, well this was a good example. You can see a very easy pseudo was able to get me into the fight, or into the diffusion item. Problem, you're intended to have white beam for this. You do not have that. Making this a bit more annoying. It's fine. It's not like I'm doing much with the beam. Fair point. I might die to crate because I'm bad at video games, but we'll see. So I guess we'll be slightly annoying for this. Ow. Oh yeah, these little orbs would be really annoying. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I could have climbed up, but we won't. Ow! I thought that was a different kind. I might die to crate. That's okay. This is why we I said this have. is a bad idea. Because Please. while you can beat crate with your items, it's not nice. Imagine fighting Kraid without bombs in the randomizer. What am I doing? Oh no, dude. Watch Kraid have bombs. I, fu I fought Kraid with, with cross bombs, which doesn't I'm let so you... I'm so scared of climbing up the spikes. Yeah, you can really tell the difference that uh, Wide would be making. Yeah, what? <laughs> oh. Your damage? Oh, there My we go. Goodness. Okay. Kraid. Just give me this. Kraid looks uh, a little taller from the SNES version, no? Yeah, just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Not that much taller from Super Nintendo. Yeah. Certainly quite a bit taller than yes. on NES. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nice okay. touch. Nice. Thank you. I'm not going to. It's not worth it. As cool as it is, he's almost dead. Ooh. Okay. Let's Nothing go. acquired. What? Let's go. Wait. <laughs> Worth it. How did that happen? Hang on. I've never seen this before in a randomizer. How can you acquire nothing? What's going on with that? Well, that's that's what happens if you have fewer items in the pool than there are locations. So in this case, there was a nothing in the pool. Crate has it. I think there's two nothings Aww. in the seed. In this case, Crate was an added check, but there aren't enough items to populate all the checks. So there are locations that give you nothing. Yep. That's the same case with yep. the other Prime randomizers. Alright, well that was a fun excursion. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, ooh, this is a good opportunity, actually. I can do this. Oh, it's a cutscene, right? Yeah, because I have diffusion to open the blob. Because this cutscene is important. Um, I'm not going to take this thermal door. You might think, oh, I could go kill the Emmy right now. Don't. Bad, it's not going to work. I don't know how to fix it yet. Just do the, do what the game expects you to. Yeah, things Additional are... Additional nothings for rookie mode? No. Um, yes, you're correct, Apex. I got vanilla nothing on trade. <laughs> Hi, Corpius. Bye, Corpius. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there isn't another added check. The other nothing... Is Pulse Radar, which I have from the beginning because it sucks to look for hidden blocks in Rando that you know are there, you just have to find where it is. And Pulse Radar has no logical applications. Um, should I kill the Emmy first or should I Shine Spark up there and do the Ball Spark? Kill the Emmy first. You saw, me, charge. you saw the Emmy trolling me like three times when trying to do yeah. the Ball Spark. Well, well you do it I have it a little bit easier. Here we go. Um, and I need to remember to... Be fast. Okay, that's just a missile. No, I need to remember to go out quick. Yes. that trolled you the other day. Yes. And the enemy just spawn at the exit right there? I don't think... Uh, yes. The... What happens is you have to break a block. And that's difficult. If you don't because have bombs. You don't... Yeah. Now, nah, I... Is there a way to charge up I have spark? a question for y'all real quick. Has the bad idea yes. happened yet? Was that Kraid or is there another? That was okay, all right. I didn't know if there was another bad idea incoming, so I just wanted to keep everybody informed. Woo! Yeah, that's item. 
And this gets me back here. It was an unorthodox route. It's dread. Oh! Oh! oh. Huh. Okay. Progressive missiles. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen progression there. Um, I've seen progression there. It's never been a missile, though. So yeah, a uh, grapple beam in this game is one of the most important items in the game to find, actually. Yeah. It's yeah. so important. It is genuinely an extremely good and helpful item. Like, we kind of meme about how, about how, like, not useful it is in Prime 1, Prime 2, and Super Metroid, but, like, in this game, it is legitimately, like, probably top five most important items to find in the game. Yeah. It's so helpful. Like, even if you know so many tricks, you still want Grapple Beam for so much, because it's just a hard requirement for so many paths effects. I don't know if there's a better quick kill for this Emmy, but I do this. There is, there, but hey, whatever works, works. There is one if you're like close to the wall, door or something, but uh, I always whenever I see a spot under do it, I'm impressed because it looks tight. So nice. this is fine. It's thin. Yeah, I usually just do this one. I'm sure it's like three seconds slower, so. So this Emmy normally gives you Spider Magnet, which Dunk already has, so we'll see what it gets. Nothing? Mm -hmm. More missiles? It, I mean, it's exceedingly likely to be a missile pack. Yeah. There are Boring. 75 of these in the game. And I have. The health bars and damage numbers are part of the mod. Um, you can do them really easily with any kind of Dread mod. Uh, I'll just do the normal way because it's literally just an option that we changed from false to true in a plain text config file. Uh, yeah. But the randomizer lets you easily make that change. Can you find the item at the top? Uh, yeah. I, oh, okay. It was just a That's missile. missile. I'm not concerned with, but I'm going this way because I know I can get to where I want to go. This has been such a strange Artaria loop. Mm -hmm. uh, you've had access to car cars for quite a while, actually. I know, but I haven't but even checked front. like Vanilla Charge. You haven't gone to the front yet, and yeah, <laughs> you haven't checked Vanilla Charge, so there's just a lot of options you have right now. You know, I might as well, since I'm here, that's a good point. I'm gonna just open the front door, since it's nearby. Yeah, and um, like, as with most Metroid games, there are a lot of like one-way locks you want to try prioritizing opening up, and Dread is no exception to that. Dread has more one-way locks than anything you've seen. Mm -hmm. um, I have more. If you play, uh, if you play, play attention when playing the game, like whenever you enter some new area or whatever in Dread, there's a lock behind you. Help? No. I'll just do it the normal way. Boring. No. I should have no, gone high. You should, phantom, you should phantom cloak right now. I'll have to kill that one fly. Oh yeah. Yeah, this let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Have I mentioned right. I don't speedrun Metroid Dread? Hey, one thing I want to hey. remind folks is in order to do a randomizer, you don't have to speedrun the game, right? Like I ran a ton you know? of, of Zelda 1 randomizer. Mm. I never sped run the uh, any of the categories, so You can be a complete filthy casual and that is perfectly okay. That's right. I've played probably a hundred or so Link to the Past rando seeds and I still haven't beaten Link to the Past vanilla. I do recommend playing the vanilla game first for randomizers, but you don't even have to do that. That, be, that being said, I, definitely recommend it for Metroid games to play the game first before yes. randos, please. Yes. The original games are very masterfully done. Left route in mm -hmm. exploration. Don't spoil yourself with that experience by playing the randomizer first. <laughs> yeah, Mercury Steam has done quite a lot to uh, make our lives easy as modders. We're, I'm very grateful to them for the decisions they made. What's that? Well, I'll That's take a 10 pack. I guess I have the fusion. I didn't need to do that. Yeah, I was like, oh, why are you doing a pseudo in there? <laughs> I got the pseudo. <laughs> Reflex. Just flex. I don't speed yeah, run well, the game just to dust some pseudo waves. Yeah. I'm going to check this hint. Yeah, the hint we've made a change recently to make it improve them because uh, a, few cool. ago, um, 
Oh, nice. Bombs. Okay, bombs in Tara somewhere. Those will be nearby. I'm, I'm gonna check. There's the one item that's nearby. It is one of those. This uh, switch right here is one of those switches you really want to hit ASAP because it opens up a lot. Yeah. It's it's or genuinely surprise. worth opening this door and then leaving Cataris and coming back in through the red teleporter a lot of the time. I believe it. Red teleporter is a super convenient place, but uh, without opening this door, it's a huge pain to go through a lot of Cataris. And by red time. teleport, that's the one that Dunk took to get to Crane, which is in the bottom left corner yes. of the cards. Right now we're in the bottom right corner. A recommendation is never take that Morph Ball Cannon tunnel in the top before enabling the, is using this thermal device, or you'll be very sad. Yeah, <laughs> you won't be happy. So bosses do have logic programmed in, in the case of like, if you uh, happen to oh not have God. charge beam. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Phantom Club doesn't work there. <laughs> Can't believe it's been betrayed like this. But yeah, like, for example, like, there might be a boss where if you don't have charge beam, logic still expects you to have, like, 50 missiles to defeat it, or maybe, like, 20 super missiles or something. I'm just making this up. Um, yep. I think there's We're something weird with one. how the that, logic... This handles. technically isn't oh. in logic. Um, which means this is either... It either expects me to have spin jump to get this, and that would be space jump, or it wants me to have cross bombs because cross bomb IBGs are still trickless. I think there's a there's an issue with how the logic handles like how much ammunition you're expected to have at the moment. Um, okay. But it is a thing that's in. Now I'm leaving. But I'm glad that I uh, checked that. So spin boost is out of logic. Yeah. For those not familiar with Dread, spin boost is kind of like an intermediate upgrade to space jump. Space jump lets you jump infinitely. Spin boost lets you do one extra jump. And so it makes naturally it makes Oops, sense for them to be progressive. The because space jump kind of just obsolete spin boost. So yeah. in the case of the seed, you have two spin boost upgrades. And if you get both of them, then you get space jump. With the exception of bombs and cross bombs, all the progressive items um, replace each other in the Samus screen. So that's a good way to judge whether stuff is progressive. Bombs and cross bombs, there's a little bit more nuance too, because they aren't exactly the same. However, with one exception, cross bombs are a strict upgrade. So I have them set as progressive for this one. Yeah, the bom uh, bombs, you can you still use both uh, separately. And uh, so cross bombs are most of the time better just than bombs. With like one yeah. major exception being great. The uh, only exception I'm aware of, in fact. And bombs are a little bit easier to use sometimes for some things. But easier, but yeah, as yeah. far as the logic is concerned. Yeah. And diffusion, if you didn't be any, have it in progressive, you just can't use proof diffusion with full char charge. So we could have this not to be progressive, but it's kind of just weird. Uh, I have a question for yeah. the commentary crew and runner here. Are there any, this yeah. is from the chat, are there any bosses that need a specific amount of missiles in order to kill? To the point where coding the randomizer to start you off with a small amount of missile cap, thus you need to find X amount of missile tanks in order to beat said bosses or bosses yeah. as a item gate. Um, Kirby would be able to speak to that better, I think but I know that there is logic for the bosses that accounts for ammo to some extent. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, there are some limitations in Randomania that make ammo logic complicated. Uh, charge will always serve as missile ammunition for bosses and stuff, so that's something as well. Yeah, it can be kind of complicated with how um, some of the boss logic. Um, pull up an example really quickly because I have the database open. I have diffusion. And I should check. check the, did you check the hitting below the red supporter? Yeah. That was... Uh, we checked it earlier. But yeah, I have diffusion so I can safely check this. Shoutouts to the only 
super slash charge beam door in the game. All right, it's just a power bomb tank. And then now we're doing the vanilla Mario suit sequence. Yep. Shit, how to vanilla Mario in my, my seat last year already? If you don't yeah, know, Dark actually had vanilla berry in his seed last night. You need better to live this area. So. Oh, I'm used to having bombs there. D did you like my uh, damageless stress there, Kirby, where I didn't take damage? Woo! Alright, that's nothing. And see the other item, sadly. Oh, I'll take that. E thanks. Please, get me out of there. Ah, uh, experiment is. So the thing about experiment is that um, in the current version of the randomizer, it does not exist. There is no such thing as the experiment boss because the cooldown segment has been entirely removed. It is a cool no. segment, but it just has like pretty much no purpose. In the it's kind of it's also like impossible to write logic for. But um, instead, we're working on a way to bring experiment back, but for the moment, it doesn't exist. It, we didn't make a time and it didn't work, so sadly we can show it. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah. this has been such a weird route. Yeah, uh, the freeze is like a really, really... I love that part of the game, but it does nothing. Really? Yeah. Hopefully. It's impossible to account for in logic. It does nothing. Like hopefully yeah. we can have some time, like we can just have the cosmetic side of Frozen or whatever. Mm. But like it's for the future. This is out of logic too, but you know. It's a Might really well. short short one. I'll take Ooh. a 10 pack. Isn't that vanilla? No, that's the E part, vanilla. Yeah, this is normally a 10 pack. Yeah, you can say E part. E, A. Nice. Nice. Okay, this supports my theory. Um, <laughs> this happens. Sometimes you run through items. I have a theory for why, but haven't quite tested it yet. My guess is that it happens in locations that were originally an energy tank or energy part. Oh, you didn't check the uh, vanilla power bomb tank, I just realized. Well, I don't have bombs, so. Oh, I yeah, can't. you're right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Still don't have bombs. Yeah, bombs are in catters somewhere. I'm gonna check. I'll take another 10. I'm gonna head to red. Was it bombs or this? In catters? Isn't that what it said? Yeah, it said progressive bombs in Okay. Paris. And uh, there's a sweet in the room. Yeah. 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 Have you checked the... Oh, you did. Okay. Uh, need the bombs for the broken enemy item. Oh, yeah, you do. I could technically check um, the item in the Dairon Artaria elevator, but only that one item. Oh, whoops. Like, I wouldn't be able to progress past that because I don't have grapple. You can go to Dairon and do stuff there as well, right? And then up Kataris. Well, I could go to Dairon through the elevator up here. I just wouldn't be able to do anything afterwards. So I'm, I'm going to head there from Dairon, I think. This takes us to red. You Ooh. checked the ball spark item, right? I remember you said you did, yes. you did, you did. Okay. I did. Yes.
Hey. Back to their vet teleport. Yeah. And this time we're gonna actually do useful things instead of what we did. Um, I mean, yeah, you got intel. No, I, I could go to purple out of logic. That be out of skip logic? Skip entirely. Yeah, I don't have grapple. Oh, um, yeah, you're right. Well, I mean, I guess I logic might expect me to fight Kraid to go to purple. But what? come on, as if, right? As if. <laughs> <laughs> like, no way. I don't think Kraid has many requirements, logically. Let me check. It, I, I'm pretty sure it would be in logic, but like, come on. Yeah, it it's absolutely in logic. It wouldn't yeah. do that to me. Not after everything I've done for it. Well, if you All never right. know, I did call Vanilla a Phantom Cloak. Or <laughs> telling Actually. the Tesla Vader be, wants to be a troll shoe? Uh, it's considered okay. a bug if it doesn't. You do it. That's nothing. Yeah, Shadows is a shortcut oh. where you can find Pulse Radar early in the Vanilla game. I thought... Mm. Oh, I made, made a mistake. I thought you needed a grapple. But it should cross it. There's the bomb. Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna find grapple right here. In yeah. Grapple at pulse, and everything's perfect. Is that in logic using spin boost to get up there? I would assume so. You don't remember writing that. But I, it is. It is. It is. Okay. I just checked. But your spin yeah. boost is not in logic. It's, oh, that's true. That's spin true. boost is not in logic. So right is now we're out of logic. Could I spark up? Uh, not without gravity, I don't think. No, anyway. not without gravity. Uh, speed boosting is not in logic at all to get up there. Okay. What? So that ship will need to be. So active. this is also not in logic, but it'll be worth it. Another ten pack. Hey, I'm ten pretty much set for missiles. I mean, avoiding it's kind of hard. To be fair. Mm. Can I possible will it? In before nothing. Dang it. Dang it. Is anything in here a... Uh, you can check. Bomb block? You can check one Maybe. item? Oh, you did. You might be soft blocks. Are you? No, I think I can leave. Oh, oh that, okay, that, I didn't. I forgot that was a shootable block. Um, uh, diffusion? That one. Oh. Ooh. Perfect. <laughs> this is this has turned into the bombs appreciation randomizer. Uh, yeah. See, y'all were saying baby seed, and yet we don't have bombs. <laughs> we can see saying. the bombs, but I can't get them. I don't think I can come in from the other side. Maybe I can. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh well. Uh, yes. We'll see. Wait, what? The laser, we'll the laser when is kind of. last? Good question. We'll see. Hopefully, this isn't a crash. Are we good? Oh, we made it. Oh I my see gosh. Of... Everything's fine. Nothing to be afraid of, Sky. Everything's fine. I yeah. was terrified for a second. We're like almost. Nothing to be oh, afraid okay. of. Okay. Okay. Not. We're totally good. It was only like a 30% chance that that was a crash. <laughs> what? I, I, I speedrun Fire Emblem, and 30% is way too high for my comfort. <laughs> <laughs> Just save here. It's fine. Yeah, we're saving. We're grabbing the hint. Yes, please save. Please. <laughs> yeah, Real Jinx is kind oh, of... Oh, bombs in Ferenia. Okay. Do I know where both suits, both bombs... Oh, charges. So where's the other suit again? No, I okay, I actually can come through here and grab bombs. Okay, That's on. convenient. Oh, there it is. But that, that was literally on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Wow. There we are. Yeah, so about grapple beam being kind of nice. Yeah, imagine if we had that before going through the teleport. Yeah. That would have been kind of nice. It's fine. We would just be... The only difference is... One visual. I don't need that missile. Um, where should I go from here? I'll go this way. Question. This will be fine. 
The Katara's has like a lot of switches that like activate elevators or open up thermal doors and stuff. So like you can't really go uh, wrong with just opening them up. The intended path. Let's do this. Ooh, fancy. I wanted to go this way. I need that don't skip. Um, that's closed. I was about to say that would be closed. Yeah. So maybe I didn't want to go this way. I thought it was cool. You can, oh, we'll just, we'll, this is all intended, don't worry. You can open yeah, the first cut. I'll, I'll go this way. This is good. This is worthwhile. Oh yeah, there's a check here. Yeah. Um, I already saw this, actually. It's just a missile. Yeah, that's fine. Ow. Um, but opening that door is worthwhile. Is this in logic? This bomb in logic? I think so. I hope so, right? Uh, um, I'm curious now. I I want to say it is. I don't think I was expected to have spin for that bomb. Yeah, it, it's okay. Did you climb there? Uh, there? At the moment, it's more fall and simple IBJ. Get up there. Oh, okay. Then no. I, so I don't know if you have simple and, IBJs in logic. Well, I would need some kind of to bombs. get to the bomb. I, oh yeah, you kind of need bombs. Yeah. Okay. So the bombs are not uh, in logic either. <laughs> Obviously, spin boost was required was an option, but that's not a logic. Wait. I'm confused. Me too. Dr what? Dread is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Dread is a very confusing and complicated game, and that's why we love it. Because it's progressive bombs. You can't have cross bombs, so yeah. simple IBJs were not very logic. Yeah, they would have never been. So okay, that's Apparently true. Another way up. So you have to have. So the game, you need to have spin boost to get that. The only way to get that is with spin boost. Darn. Then, which is out of logic, and spin boost requires probably gravity. You can't have bombs to get spin boost. Yeah, spin, so that was probably space jump could you, expected. Yeah, yeah, could you get spin boost with spin boost? Either that or a gravity suit plus speed booster. Uh, spin boost would have been enough to get that item for sure. Uh, let's, okay, let, but I have the logic open. Unclear. Yeah, logic says that spin boost is enough. Shoutouts to uh, Xeno Wars and Scoreless Pine, by the way, who generated and vetted this seed for me. Yeah. Clearly, they've picked a good one. And they've also done a lot of work. There's been other people working on the logic and updating it and fixing a lot of bugs, yeah. adding tricks and stuff, too. Like, These this guys is definitely have been a significant contributors. Effort. So, yeah, you would need either the other progressive spin or gravity suits. Gets me next. So, that means I, your bombs. Should I go to Dyron? You might be expected to go to Dyron then. Yeah, because that's where the other Oh, actually, is. I could, I can leave Dyron safely through the Artaria elevator. You need... Yes, you can. Wait. You need a wire. Actually, wait. I want to look at this. For the... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. God, I can't see the... What item is that? That's a 10-pack. I didn't want to grab that missile. Nice. <laughs> You're right. I would need one for the door. Mm. But yeah, so you the logic would expect you to either find the other progressive spin or gravity suits before getting... Where did I save it? That, Adam? I'm going to risk it. You haven't gotten anything useful since saving. Just the bombs, creature. which were right there. I mean, they're all out of logic. Anyway, oh, no, yeah. I can... I totally can go through... That elevator, I just have to go around using speed. Speaking of speed. Oh yeah, there's a check here. Yeah, welcome to Dread Randomizer. Lots of th puzzling things out, which is very difficult, but also very satisfying and fun and rewarding. Okay. Or yeah, yeah, speed gets me through to the Artaria elevator, so I can safely leave. This shouldn't be a dangerous action. Yeah, I believe Randomania has a concept of dangerous actions, which is kind of self sort of self-explanatory. It's like if you're expected. It's also to extremely take a complicated and unintuitive, but you know. <laughs> yeah. And I think like there's a way, there's a setting for Randomania, the main program to like avoid that, but mm -hmm. you can't really guarantee not being 
not having to risk taking dangerous actions. Well, Arrow, I would need either grapple or wide to get back to here if I do any checks in Darren. So it is. it would have been a risk, but yeah, speed makes it safe. Yeah, this seat is already messing with me. But as an item, we can um, see like almost immediately here. I can get it. Yeah, yes, speed, speed boost. You can get it. Ah, the load times messed with me. E part, yeah, it's not worth. Nice, but. Yeah. So, people were talking about in the chat earlier, about uh, random elevators. Uh, Hendovania has the part rate. Uh, actually, the first thing in Hendovania in this game was not the pickups, was elevators, because it's like... You had elevators randomized before we had all pickups randomized. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> really easy to do. Like, extremely so. But uh, there are some concerns, like, needs to fix, because... I actually mix it up. Teleportals are a big one. Yeah, we mix in a pool uh, all the port, uh, all the trams and elevators and teleportals. So it's kind of weird. We need to change, and we actually need to get this the car bases like this working properly and released before we want to focus on this other feature. Another mm. feature that we can we can also do similarly is like random start. Oh, Cause... clock bash. Um, the reason that I get hit often and miss jumps is because I'm bad at video games. I, I established that at the start of the seed. I don't actually speedrun Dread. I'm okay at it. And that's and you know what? as good that's as it gets. That's okay, because the randomizer <laughs> is for any and all skill levels. Rest assured, my routing carries me hard enough that I'm still doing this a lot faster than many speedrunners would. Even if my movement is pretty poor. I think you're a little difficult on yourself. I think this looks fantastic. My movement's okay. It's not bad. I'm bad at video games as a general rule, but my movement's been okay so far. Um, this is the slightly annoying thing because I get the cutscene. Yeah. Oh no! You activated the enemy. And now I go like this. There's a check there. I know the little, but I want to lure Emmy away. <laughs> oh, yeah, there, oh. There, there, there is kind of an Emmy, yeah. Fair point. Oh, oh. Here's the plan. That was not. <laughs> was <supposed> to work. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I, I really tried. I, I, I saw what I, I respect it. I saw what you were trying to do. <laughs> It was almost sick. You almost got it. You almost got it. I respect it. <laughs> uh, you probably have to open it. Yeah, okay. you have to open the parkour again. Yeah. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, I don't even have... Wait, wait no, I do have wait, bombs. Is that a bomb? Oh, yeah, you do have bombs. Out of yeah, logic. It, it's bombs. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Just parry the Emmy, right? Nothing you can do. Speed Emmy! <laughs> Speed Emmy is quick, guys. All right. It goes new. <laughs> okay. We're gonna make this work. There was this video after, in like Dread's first week of release where I think Valor, the punch out runner, like made a video of countering an Emmy like nine times in a row. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Which, okay. which, which is fitting because he speedruns punch out. And so, like, punch out is all about react patterns and stuff. Okay. All right. Plan successful. <laughs> Amy, please. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Plan successful. Thank God. Aw. Oh. Um, I'll go up. That's a missile. Another check in the next room. That's a missile. Can you do quite roll? And I'm okay because I have bombs. 
Can I do plant room? Yes. Yeah, you should. Um, but no. Can you no. Is fiend boost soul? Oh, I, flash I, shift. I need, yeah. I need oh, flash yeah, shift. Oh, yeah, you need flash shift. And if I don't have cross bombs, I don't know how to bomb jump over. Yeah, rare footage of phantom cloak usage <laughs> for its intended purpose. The logic does take into account activating these um, generators as well. Um, should I should I do early supers? You know how to do it. I mean, technically, it's a vanilla speed boost puzzle. Just gotta oh, don't die. I'm just we're just gonna. Yeah, that uh, might be a good guys. idea. There's a slight visual bug here. I don't actually have 99 energy. Oh, because you got an E part, so you react to so 25 it's, over. It's, oh, no. I guess I got that many energy parts, so I actually do have. But that would be a visual bug. We found that just the other day. Please. Also, As a reminder, this, random, this randomizer is very much a work in progress and very experimental. Yeah. I'll take a PB tank. Oh, early supers are absolutely not worth. But that's not what I asked. I asked, should I go for it? Sure, why not? I... <laughs> I'll try it once. Yeah. Thank you, Mega. That's that's exactly what I'm saying. All right, we're going to save because Tyron does like to crash. And also, I'm doing a cold run. I will try not to die, but I make no promises. At least looks very nice if you do get it. If I get it, I'm so sick. Like, we'll see. I'm pretty sure I need to get it like first try though. Yeah, you don't oh, yeah, need it first try. Yeah, with the energy I've got. Mm, no double doubt. We'll give it. I think, we'll, we'll give it at least one. I think no matter your health, you need to do it first try. Yeah. Oh. Did I get an E part? Yes. I'm just. Yeah, you just got one. Never. You don't mind me. One, yeah. I was so confused. Alright. Please? No, dude. Okay. That's fine. I messed up early enough that I can take the heal. Fine. This is fine. This is totally fine. Remember, it's this me, is completely worth it. Hey, what's the timer at? Uh, 51 minutes. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh. Oh. Oh! oh. This is gonna be cool. No! no! Oh. Oh. I had to shoot. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Man, that was so close. Sad. But now that you got it, you are so close. It, I, it's like, well, now you have to go for it. Because um, it's like, oh, you were so close. Okay, here's, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to, there's there's a check. I just remember something. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to. a sweet thing. Sorry, I don't. I'm going to come back. <laughs> so I'm gravity is back. here. <laughs> gravity is in here somewhere. We're gonna check this stuff. And I'm just hoping I find another some kind of energy. Um is Izzy, I, I forgot to open the diffusion for like the blobs, so I can't do it from the math room safely, I don't think. Maybe, maybe I'm misremembering. But we're just gonna we're gonna go this way. We're we're gonna come back. For now, Perennia. Kirby's favorite area. Yeah. So one of the really cool things. So is kind of the water area in the game. And like one of my favorite things about this game is like with how many tools this game gives you with navigating water before you get gravity sued. And as you just progressively get more and more tools to be able to like use grapple beam underwater, do an extra jump underwater, space jump underwater. And then near the end of the game, you get gravity, see, which gives you complete total control. Um, 
a water movement, basically. Logically, mm -hmm. this is annoying because you're basically you basically have to write <laughs> two sets of logic for every single room with water. One without gravity suit because you have so many ways to navigate water without gravity suit, and then you have to write an entire set of logic with gravity suit. So like you might be able to cross this gap underwater if you don't have gravity suit, but you have space jump or grapple beam. But if you have gravity suit, you can also cross that same gap with just flash ship, for example. And you pretty much have to. You pretty much have like double the logic to write for every room with water, basically. It's both painful and fun in a sense. Oh, it really goes to show like how much care was put into this game's like map design overall. Like, There's so many options. Yeah, this, and which is why this randomizer is so good. I don't know if routing Berenia now was the right call because I could have done Quiet Robe. I think you guys are right, but you don't I'm have flash now. Yeah, the, the reason that I was willing to come is because I can actually come around, uh, wait, no. Knew nice. that. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. Knew that. We could get it. Maybe I should leave. I'll check the... Okay, I saved there. I'm just gonna check stuff, but there are very good odds I'm actually just gonna save warp back to there. I'm just waiting for the one time someone gets a seat where they have to cross that room with only ice missiles. That's in logic. I love ice missile logic. There's just there's so few opportunities for ice missiles to be useful in this game, unfortunately. Yeah, once you enable tricks, they can get really cute. But otherwise, I've used ice missiles to get up to stuff that I wasn't able to, or to make things faster. That's a okay. That's the E part. Mm-hmm. Uh, flash shift room is soft, right? Unless you yes. know the bomb jump. Do you know, know the bomb jump? The, I know how to do it with cross bombs. <laughs> see, that's we'll eat nice. Time. Let's see if we get to keep it. Yeah. See, this room, but is, I'm is prepared a mess. to just quit out. Uh, back to the save because this probably wasn't the best time anyway. Hey. Still no grapple. So, something I wanted to uh, talk about is... Uh, so people are aware, how far are we from go mode? One thing that you always need, gonna need is power bombs. We don't have it. Screw attack. We don't have it. I think we, we need... still need plasma. So we need two beams. We, we need at least some amount of beams, I think. Yeah, yeah at least two. We have none. Yeah, we have no beams. Um, supers would be important if we have to go through Elon, which also needs plasma. Um, otherwise, we would need wave and grapple to go through uh, Ferenia to Hanubia. Um, screw attack, I think, is required both ways. Yes. If we have to do Elon, cross bombs will be required. Um... Oh god, yeah, we don't have grapple. I can't do quiet room. Well, there's nothing... There's nothing for me to do here. Yeah, this was kind of a bust. I shouldn't have gone to Verenia, but... The seat is messing with me so much that I don't know. Oh, come on. The seat has been very I interesting. Just climb. Back to Dyron, then. Yeah. Because we know there's, we know gravity's somewhere in Dyron. And we have intel on the other bomb. Yeah. The cross is in Ferenia somewhere. Mm. I can't Which go is... to Ferenia though. Hey, do we... Yes, you can. Do we have um, yes. time for a quick plug for GBQ, if that's cool? Oh, go for it. All right, folks, just as a reminder again that your subs, gift subs, Prime Gaming subs, and bits help support our weekly hot fix content. Please consider supporting our daily content if you're enjoying these hot fix shows. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, it's wonderful to see you all here. Please go to twitch.tv slash games done quick if you're interested in looking at our live content starting weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. Thank you all so much. So how do you feel like the seed's going so far, Dunk? I'm so confused. They gave us a really good seed. 
Um, I think I need to pause and look at the map because I need to think about what's an option here, considering that spin and bombs are both out of logic. I'm not supposed to be able to do very much yeah, in you're like, Iron here. Like, all you have of this to have stuff... a gravity or the other spin boost to be able to use spin or bombs, basically. So we need to find one of those two items. We know gravity is in Dairon somewhere. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go for early grapple. Please be kind to me. Dude, dude, dude. Oh. Yeah. People were saying baby seed because I got a bunch of progression in Artaria. They I mean, don't that, that's just kind of normal. <laughs> Every seed gets a bunch of progression in Artaria. Everything, everything goes to hell after. <laughs> that's where I say, hey, you try doing this if you think it's such an easy seed. <laughs> this is so far the most confusing seed I've ever played. God Let's bless. check below you. Oh, oh, my. oh, oh, hello there. Well. In that case, um, that I've never seen that item. That's a suit, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, get, oh my God. Hi, Amy. How are you? It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Well, we're just gonna do we this. Get... Oh, I didn't store the spark like I wanted to. So now that we have gravity over. suit, we need gravity suit and speed booster to get spin boost, and we need a spin boost to get bombs. So that means now that now spin boost and bombs are in logic. So now we're back on track. Yes. With what the randomizer expects. Um, and it means we can actually go do early supers with gravity. As a reminder, which... the suits visual aren't being updated due to the bug. Yeah. Oh, come on. At least it's a checkpoint. Uh, I was like just about to warn you of that, but I'm yeah. like, oh, it's gonna be no, too late. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's worthwhile just for the checkpoint, like Dark said. Oh yeah, that's um, true. Oh, I'm gonna. I sh I'm just gonna kill this freaking Emmy. I'm just gonna hope. Nope, did not walk away. It's fine. We're gonna lure it away by doing getting hit by it, and then dying. Yeah. See, all according to plan. And now the Emmy's gonna be in a different spawn. This uh, is very able... intentional. Don't worry. <laughs> and we know it's what gonna we're be doing. in a different spawn in all likelihood, um, which gives me. An easier... God, come on. Dunk did it on purpose so he can show off the gravity suit. Like I said, all according... <laughs> all according to kick the poop. I swear I've hit these counters before in my life. For the record. <laughs> uh, it's something Just... funny. Like, I think when we started, like, playing the best playing the seeds, I hit, like, something like... And counters in a row for some whatever reason. <laughs> I was now like, I'm gonna he... show off a cool trick. Ooh, here we go. Nice, nice. That is very tight to make. And I, I think that's in logic. I love that trick. But it's very cool. Super duper not in logic. What was the item? Missile. Cool. Um, it... Oh. We do have custom map icons, so you can see all the cool icons, displays, what everything was. Figured I would show that off. That was a very cool feature. Shoutouts to Sean Sigma for designing those icons. I forgot about this. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh my god, grapple, grapple. This is so out of logic. Grapple, the holy grail, the holy grail. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. so confused about the logic right now. Is that actually in logic? I was just supposed to come from Berenia? Oh! That's a logic bug, huh? Well, good thing I know how to do the cool trick. Could it be? You have gravity suit, so you should be able to get here from Berenia, right? Um, okay. I would need flash shift. Maybe flash shift, yeah. So oh yeah, you do need flash shift. Oh, so grapple we need flash shift. There's either a logic bug or we need um, flash shift. Yeah. Zeno says there's a logic bug, so. Oh, okay. I believe him. Yeah, no, Zeno's um, done a I lot wonder... of work for logic, too, so. 
Okay. I wonder if it was the logic bug that caused this or if flash shift should be open. But yeah, grapple and gravity, that's big. Um, we're still held up by a lot of stuff. Okay, Zeno's confirmed the seed has no logic bugs. So I am supposed to have flash shift somewhere. Weird. So, okay, so we do need... Past that shutter? Oh, interesting. That makes sense. But well, whatever's the case, we have Grapple Beam. That's like one of the most important items in the game. Yeah, that's such a relief to find. Like, again, I am not memeing when I say that. It is legitimately really important. Yeah, people don't know. People are so used to Grapple Beam being like a meme item. Grapple Beam is, has like three different purposes in this game. Here it is. For anyone who doesn't know, this is called a Cool Shine Spark. That is actually how it's referred to in game. Oh, it's so literally now, it's a cutscene that's literally called Cool Shine Spark. Yes, yes. it's that's, literally that's called amazing. Cool Shine Spark. Both of them. There's a class called Cool Shine Spark. Yeah, because there's, yeah. there's another one in the Metro in the Endgame Escape, I think. That also yes. called Cool yeah. Shine Spark. Yeah, both of them are Cool Shine Spark. Nice. There's like a, so this makes this trick a lot easier. And there's in like logic, I think. Yes. Well. Technically, I think it expects me to have Space Jump to do it. But it should be in logic. It probably is. I could open it. Curious now. Oh, convenient. This room is literally called the Freezer. I'll get that later. You can get your Super Missiles in your title. Yep. But oh yeah, this expects, you, this expects you to have Space Jump. So this is out of logic. I didn't know that that gave you a cool shine spark, MD13. That's yeah, cool. Uh, I think you need to be below. Uh, yeah, the experiment. A vertical spark. Yeah, but no one does Probably stuff like that. Done the horizontal. This vertical shine spark under Z, the experiment just sounds so difficult because you have to move so much farther for it. That would be so sick, though, to get the cool shine spark for it. Come Yo, on. time loss, but swag. Oh, it's so worth. Yeah, so <clears throat> this is something Bruh, you can. Oh. oh, hello there. Breaking logic is really helping me out. <laughs> I've gotten so many items out of logic. The storm missiles are actually pretty neat. Um, they're not like the most useful items in the game in terms of logic, although they are important for a few spots, but they're very nice for like... They're very nice for combat as well. Like they are surprisingly they're powerful. They're so good against a lot of bosses. Especially considering you just have normal missiles right now. Yeah. Yes. A normal, well, you, you a don't normal have supers, you no, don't, don't have supers. supers. Okay. I can go get supers. Where were they again? Uh, I remember we saw it at some point. They were in, uh, yeah. Artaria, I mean. The Behind flipper. The, the flipper yeah. Oh, the flipper. Oh, yeah, we have grapple beams, so now we can get supers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Which doesn't do much for us, but big DPS upgrade. Mm -hmm. You have power beam. Yeah, I, I like how we still have normal missiles, normal beam, and just no upgrades to those. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit painful, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sorry, missiles aren't progressive because, like, they're just there. They're, they're, they're completely just separate. separate, yeah. Mm -hmm. The game even I'll labels them separately in the inventory screen, whereas when you get Super Star Ice Missile, the game replaces the icon replaces your missile upgrade in the inventory screen. Mm -hmm. And storm missiles do completely different things. Okay, what to do now? I could go back to... Bar oh, quiet rope. Quiet rope, yeah. Yeah, quiet rope should be open now. Super duper quiet rope. Even if I don't have flash shift, um, I'll, I'll work Yo, something out. Snipe. Grapple beam, useful. Cannot get back up here otherwise. Yeah. At least through this room. Imagine dying to the snipes. Whoops, wrong one. Yeah, so that's the room where you come out of Quiet Rope and does require Wide Beam. <laughs> if I had Wave, I might have been able to... Yeah, if you have Wave, you can pseudo to open that block. You have to pseudo. Oh, that's funny. Because you have to be on the other side of Wide Blocks to move them. Ah. Oh, did you know Grapple Beam's useful? 
<laughs> I, I feel I feel obligated to point that out every time now. It's just, I know. <laughs> but yeah, like weight beam is like devastatingly broken in this game. Not necessarily sort of, for combat, but for like just breaking logic. Because what the main way this game locks you from going to areas are the blobs from the walls. And if you can just shoot those blobs from anywhere, that just breaks the game completely. Hey Kirby, you should say every time that grab was needed, you're gonna say it's a lot. <laughs> Do not play a drinking game with oh, no. Kirby saying that grapple is a useful item. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot recommend. Oh, the item at the top. That be in logic? Um, you need PBs. No. Oh, the, the, the other top, one. yes. Oh, the other top, yeah. I was thinking of the E party just passed by. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you, but you can just how flash shift and wall jump, but you don't have flash shift. How do I? How do I do this? What's the? Let's park that. I like a place I could. Hmm. Could I get a spark all the way up? Yes, mm. you can. Mm. This could be. I'll try to do a charge here. That's not gonna work. I gotta do the turnaround. I'm sure. Sick. Nice. Alright, what's up here? Nice. That is just and not that. in logic at all. There's no logic for that at all, period. Alright. Storm and missiles. Now, Let's go. Y'all can see how good storm missiles are. That's a, almost half its health, and some of those even missed. It was there half its health, straight up. I think the uh, gray Chozo robots take extra damage from storm missiles as well. Yes. It was doing 600. Yeah, Normally the gold ones pink. take less damage and have more health. But like mm. the gray ones just take extra damage and have less health. Like you don't you don't, you need like if you have two sets of four oh missiles, they will die. Mm. Oh, hello there. Um, well, that's the important. Uh -huh. well, oh, okay. in that yeah. case. Oh, I don't have screw tech, never mind. I always see the W and see. Well, and that's only why. Wave. Oh my god. So now like you can get out this way. Convenient. Yeah. Uh, Wait, yeah, I couldn't have. I couldn't have gotten. Yeah, no, out you, you would have been locked. You would have been locked. <laughs> if you didn't find that. So what I just did was absolutely the wrong call. Um, it was a dangerous action. You know, it was just not 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 in logic either. You need it flash. Was out of logic, and it was a dangerous. Like I would have soft locked, but it put a beam. Right you you, you got bailed out. You got bailed out. Bailed out. Yeah. So hard. you know what? We take those. <laughs> we take like, those. That, that was an unbelievable bailout. Uh, all right, in you're time. having got a hint. Mm. You couldn't go through a cold room. No, you need screw attack for the cold room. No, yeah. Yeah, okay. And also, yeah. thanks, Adam. Nice. <laughs> Extremely helpful. So your current beam upgrade needs flash. Yeah. Half of my... Uh, current items are out of logic. Yeah, your storm missiles are out of logic. Your storm missiles need um, space jumps. So those are the out of logic items we have at the moment. I'm gonna go do early supers. I just gotta say something. Thanks, Bash. Yeah. Hi, Bash. He's your from the chat. <laughs> Wide in my perspective. So true. Hey, chat. Wave hi to Bash. But um, I am not sorry. Don't be. Um, <laughs> oh, you know what? This has been available to me for quite some time. Oh, it has been. Because you've had Diffusion for a long time. So this takes you to the back item. side of grade. There is one item here. Well, you have Grapple, too. but I don't think that gives me access to anything new. I guess there's a couple gravity things I could check. You, um, can't, you can look at the item in the lava. Mm-hmm. That's it. Hey, you don't have wave. I'll come back, but I I just wanted to yeah, check yeah. this. My plan is I'm gonna grab the uh, the Darren hint, and then I'm gonna do early grapple. Yeah. So this is where this is pretty much right by the crate fight, or rather the backside of grade that we were in before. Ooh. So. 
funny thing about this, this puts everything in logic, I think. Yeah, I, no. For sure. You needed space jump for its ones. Oh, true. But I, I think otherwise I, you're right. Oh. Otherwise we have everything. Actually, I think oh. might be able to get to this storm. I think I could have from... come to storm. Oh, you, you might have like, been able to. If, yeah, if you get storm through the front, then yes, it will be able. You could. Can I keep this item? Do I need power bombs? You need power bombs. Yeah. Yeah, I was, okay, I was I'm wrong just gonna about go back. That. Okay. You can peek it if you go to the right. I... No, you can't. <laughs> Yeah, you but this was fun. Well, that's an important find. So, the funny thing is, um, I could have checked that when we did crate. I, I just forgot you, to. You could have. Because <laughs> <laughs> Xeno War says that uh, storm missiles should be in logic, and I think that's yeah, correct. I think you I would have to go through Baranya. Baranya, through the Gabarin loop. Because you have flash shift, and that's yeah. the main thing. You need to do quiet rope, go through Baranya with flash shift, and grapple, and go through Gairan the front. You need scrapple, and then you'd be able to get storm missiles that way. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, my plan now is I'm gonna do early grapple. I'm gonna grab supers while I'm in Artaria, and then from there, after I get supers, I'm gonna go back to. Oh, there's the other nothing. That's just an item sphere model. Oh, you know, Wars is actually correct. You didn't need the PPs for that wall in the lava. I was wrong about that. I was thinking of a different PV wall. Mm. You'd only be able to pick the item anyway, so you wouldn't be able to get it. Yeah, I don't. You, it's wave is hard required there, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, best friend. All right. Dyron. Huh. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's very useful. That's huge. Yeah. Where? Watch it. Where is it? You know, there's like three checks to your right right now that you can get. I know. I guess it's probably going to be... There's I hope it's good in check. the early grapple area because I can get the speed check too. There's a good chance it's there. But, like you've done a lot of Dairon. Well, that would be awfully nice if it is the case. It is an item in the bottom right corner of this room, an item at the top, and one more to the right. There it is. Yep, there it is. Okay. The giant oh. powerbomb expansion that y'all can see it's enormous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, when you when you get a power bomb expansion, you cannot use them in the randomizer as it is, which is vanilla behavior. Yeah. And in my opinion, is way is what the default behavior should be anyways. Power bombs kind of trivialize the game to a ridiculous degree. Power bombs are so overpowered. You guys, you guys like, want to see something about power bombs? That's a charge beam door. door. Yeah, that's a charge beam door. Just FYI. Yeah. <laughs> that is just one example. Of the many ways in which power bombs are overpowered. Yeah, like if you were able to use power bombs from a power bomb expansion, then you might like most of the time you might as well just assume you'll start with power bombs. That would just trivialize so much with a randomizer. And, like a lot of us would have generally agree that that kind of detracts from a randomizer experience. Yeah, that's my they opinion, annihilate at least. all the minor bosses. I like how it's just I think us here first found when par uh, that power bomb was opening charge beam doors. It was, also, it was playing the first seed ever, we were the, that mm -hmm. game involved the woeful game, that I have my wonderful charge beam two hours in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were exploring everything and then I used power beam, uh, power bomb to break something. And then I looked at the door and say, hey, why is this open? I, I learned that when I'm on accident when I was like doing damage those attempts and I just draw power bombs in every room to kill everything because I don't want to kill everything safely. And I'm just like, wait a second, that's a charge beam door. I never opened that. Why is it open now? Pass this way to the flipper. This way. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you're about to get your supers through the flipper. Yeah. That's simple. the idea. And then I'll check broken Emmy. Um, there's a couple more things I can check here before going to Gavarin. Remember, you have flash up. Flash shift for movement. Yeah, so flash shift is ridiculously broken. It's so fast. Too. Like, casually, a lot of people, myself included, probably didn't really use it much for like movement casually, but like you can just cross so many gaps with flash shift and break the uh, game. And the logic does take that into account as well. Way. Yes. 
But like, if you do play this randomizer, keep in mind that if you have flash shift, it is a tool not just for getting past flash shift gates, but also for crossing gaps like this. I'll take it. Like that. Yeah. You can use it pretty much yeah, everywhere. Yeah, it is extremely useful. Like, you can pretty much get anywhere you want horizontally. It just gives you that much distance. So, what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to head towards Vanilla Screw. I can't do everything there, but I think there's at least a couple checks. Save first. Uh, or just don't check. I think I can actually get to Vanilla Screw. There's just a couple things that I can do now get that I couldn't here. before. Yeah. yeah. I think you can get okay. to Vanilla Screw. You have actually, I'll just... You have gravity, you have grapple, you have diffusion. I don't have plasma, which I thought I There's would a plasma need. door there. If I'm oh, right. come on. Oh, well. I had, I, I never broke that because I knew I, it's fine. Oh yeah, you can get to the top or something, I believe, but I think you can fall into this, I think, the screw attack location, which you don't want to do if you don't have, if it's not screw mm -hmm. So I can get this. Oh, this room must then... be so nice without any of the keys. <laughs> without any of the keys are on. And then I might be able to check stuff in here. I just don't have actual screw attack, so uh, gotta be careful. Is there you a can safe probably way to get keep the flipper the item? item? Not sure if that's I think logic, so. but right now wall jumps are not on logic, okay. right? No. But I I could probably spark up there, I think. You can get to the teleporter as well. That's um, neat part. That doesn't do much for me. Um, I can't get to the teleportal, I don't have plasma. Oh, I mean, this you can get to the oh, teleporter. Screw attack is a missile tank. I can, sorry, Dirk? You can get to the teleporter from Katadis. Yeah, That's you true. can. Not sure if there's any new anything. There's nothing else here. Yeah, there yeah, is. Yeah, without anything. screw, I can't go to Brenya. But yeah. All right, well, tell. So. Oh, I should have gone under. That would have been cool. Did you get the item with the double pools? Like just the pool in the upper left. So the room to the right. Okay. It was just a missile. Um, anything else of note around here? I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't see anything obvious. Uh, you can get was... the item near Varia. Problem I is, you want to go there now. that far. Because that is a long way away. Well, I'm going to Gavarin next, so... Oh, but I wanted to go around through Berenia. Hmm. Best way to Berenia. I don't. Like I could go up to Dairon and do it that way, or I could, like I could check that item near Varia, and then go through Cataris and do Orange and just do the backwards loop for Gavarin. I'm not yeah. sure what the best way. I think I'm gonna check the Varia item and then just take the back door to Gavarin. Yeah, I think Orange is the best way to Gavarin. Since you have power bombs. We can show off the funny backdoor Gavarin loop that you have to do to avoid the elevator of shame. <laughs> Is that what you call it? That's cute. Dude, getting stuck in... Like, having to take the elevator to Dairon because you did the flipper without pulling the grapple block is so bad. I'm just gonna get this PB tank. It's right here. What is it, a... Bob. I think I, I think I've locked myself in Gavarin. I believe I could have taken the elevator's chain. I'm not sure. Oh no, I was testing, so I had a few, oh, a few right. items or whatever. Oh. Well, so cool I, that I am. You have to go the other way. Well, well, there's a save right but next by you. When's the last time you saved? Um, great question. Not soon enough. 
it would be faster to save and then reset if it's slow, so. So what am I still missing? Lots of beams. Lots oh. of beam upgrades. At least a beam. Screw. screw is the big one. Yeah, screw it, that kind of the beam, basically. Yeah, I think that's right. Um. Wee. Yeah, I would have it's said fun. I would have said said space jump, but I believe space jump is probably logically required. But it probably well, I'm pretty sure the progressive I have might have been space jump. Maybe not. Well, you, I don't you, know. you have gra you have gravity and speed booster, so it would right. I contact. I could have sparked up. Yeah. Come on, those bugs. Alright. Back here. Oh. Great. Nope. I think checkpoint's fine here. So when we were talking about the, the hey. randomizer, uh, we've been basically working on this since the release of the game. I think kind of like we all took took us our our moment for soul to finish the game, have fun. <laughs> And then we all started digging into the game. Within the first month, we were working on it. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Hoshinara today did some experimenting and some hacks at the team and managed to change the Titan. Like, yeah. Changes the charge all beam to be screw attack. Did that so, first proof of concept. Like, so like, okay, if you change the things, things work. Nice. And then we started digging into like a lot of many items. I think you can throw some of my names on top of my head. Uh, we have uh, scars for modding the Metroid Prime. Metroid Dread, not Prime. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, oh, you haven't checked the item in the bottom right corner, have you? Well, I looked at it. I think it was just a missile. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't remember if you could see it already or if you needed to. I'm going to gotcha. pull this. Uh, there was a lot of effort in reversing the format, and then mm -hmm. we managed to get working. And I think like November, I had something that could change pickups somewhat. Yeah, you had you had pickup actors getting changed by November. Yeah, something like that. And then I started writing the logic for the venue. Mm -hmm. And then like I took some effort, made like nice initial template for everything. And I start, I'm start made in Cartaria. I yeah. did five rooms, or, f or not even that. And I decided, no, this is impossible. Should we do? <laughs> and we need some better tooling, so I start working on it. So, if you were familiar with Hanovania, well, it's still like that for Prime One, the Prime games. You had like just name of rooms and then ball spark. Name, yeah. name of locations in rooms. For Dread, so I made sure that like we have full maps, everything with points in the maps itself. So it's if you take a look at it in the database, it's really uh, easy to use, look and use, make changes, everything. So that was kind of important. <laughs> Oh, you're not fighting Gozuna? What if he has cross bomb? As Kirby is alluding to, I can't yet fight Gozuna. Oh, right. Gozuna you, you need actually the X, right? does require releasing the X. Right about um, that. Bizarrely, SQ doesn't. Would this be a bad idea? You have power bombs? You do not have, have You do not have plasma. Oh, yeah, you have power bombs. Fine. I'm just not sure if you can take teleports. If you, said you can get anywhere from the teleport because you don't have plasma. Or um, I, yeah, power bombs. I can, however, I should have grabbed that. Uh, I need a power bomb because that was my last one. Eh, you'll be fine. Oh, yeah, you do need power bombs. Uh, is there anywhere I can? I don't think there is. I think I have to come back and get a PB drop. <laughs> Oops. 
You yeah, so um, there's a bunch of fire plants called Enkis that you're supposed to use ice missiles on. And there's a bunch of- This is all still out of logic, again. <laughs> is there anyone? No, I can't. It is plus I one? definitely- Yeah, yeah you okay. can't do anything. Okay, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna get a PP drop, and then we're gonna make our way back here. <laughs> so if you're plate. on this part of Volzuna, you can get the storm missile gate item. You can. Oh, well, can you, you can go to Ferenia from here. Yep. Yeah, as long as you find power. Well, bombs. not logically, but yeah. Um, I have zero PBs, but I didn't grab the item, so I don't have to fight the Chozo. So that's nice. I'm just. I don't know if there's anything else I can kill. I guess probably supers. Farm? Can I get a PB? Perfect. Nice. Oh, just what I needed. Cool. That's a missile. Please. Standing on platform is this hard? I would, I would like to congratulate uh, uh, Bash Prime. He. Chat is still going. <laughs> Bash is much too powerful. Bash Prime is pretty OP. <laughs> you I'm just trying to think, like, if you commit to this path, because you pretty if you're going this way, you pretty much have to take the early gravity suit path. Yeah. Which should be fine. I think I'm fine. The, the only thing that ah, could grapple. be trouble would be screw. Oh, God bless. Well, that that helps. So a lot. ice missiles are super, super duper required. Um, we're just we're we're gonna. <laughs> yeah. So um, power bombs kind of obsolete ice missiles. Just FYI. Yeah. Which is a shame, because I'm a big fan of ice missiles, but they're just not useful in this game because of power bombs. Quick pseudo grapple. Mostly just for fun. Um, but I want to Having ooh, check gravity, this. speed boost, the plasma beam, spider magnet all opens up another path in this area. Oh! Ooh, ooh that's big. That's... Is that gold? gold? What are you missing at this point? You have plasma, oh, you have screw. I think that's go mode. No, I, no, that's... I don't have cross bombs. Cross bombs or wave? I need wave or cross bombs. Oh yeah, you need cross bombs. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm we not know where to do other... early gravity, because I know can where just do are? gravity. Uh, Berenia. Okay. Um, so you could take the uh, So teleport. I should just go to Cyan. Yeah. You could take the teleport back to Gavaran, open up the path to Berenia, and just explore Berenia there. Find crossbombs. No, I can just take cyan. Cyan. Oh yeah, you're. It's that a right here. Nope. No cyan. Cyan save. It's up. It's... There's a bit of that they've never used. I was just checking that item because it's right there. Oh, I see. Okay. I'll spark up. Yeah, you'd have to climb out to go to cyan. Uh, you have diffusion. You have storm missiles. Yeah, yeah. I think you could take it. This was nothing, but it's fast. They should be, Batch. They should be. Yeah, they are removed. Let me double check the seat, the, the seat log, <laughs> if they are removed. They should be. So are you comfortable with fighting Ra the last boss as you are then? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a pal. I'm not. I don't remember how familiar I would fight. So. Um, I just have to not get hit. It's gonna be a slow fight. Just dodge for now. Yeah. I have a question for y'all. How familiar would you recommend being with this game before trying the randomizer, even on its more easy settings? 
Um, you're gonna need... Play the game first, please. <laughs> Once Dark fixes the map tracker, that'll also help. Okay, uh, no. The handle is not open. You need wave. No, it's not open. I do need wave. Darn. Yes, you need wave. Ah, okay. Course. That's fine. But yeah, like this is this game has a very complicated map and diving in like even if you have played the game before or are familiar with it, there are just gonna be so many gotchas that will just trip you up. Mm -hmm. And as someone familiar with the game too, so like if you try to play the randomizer without having to play the game at all, then you're just Oh god. You're just asking this to just is... bump into so many issues. Oh, absolutely. This is some of the most convoluted logic you'll ever see. <laughs> What's this? Can I see? It is another that's, item. Well, that's an that's item. That's cross bombs. That is absolutely an item. That's cross bombs. I can tell. You can so that's good. Yeah, it is cross bombs. Wait. At the same time, this game is also just yeah, a the fantastic game, indicate. too. Mm -hmm. So, like, I do think it's absolutely just enjoy this game first and foremost and then try to randomize it afterwards. It's my recommendation. Sure. So while uh, Wavebeam is being searched for here, do y'all want to talk about your streams <laughs> oh. and what you're currently working on and where to find y'all? Oh, we had a boss fight, fight apparently, but yeah. <laughs> nah, you guys what can go stream? first. Okay. <laughs> that was a very intense fight, but I know. yeah. <laughs> Uh, nowadays I stream a lot of Sonic events because I can kind of have a run in SGP I need to practice Ooh. for it, but I also stream randomizers. Well, a lot of times Metro randomizers as well. Sometimes 2D Zelda randomizers. Randomizers are pretty fun, who would have thought? Um, and speedrunning other games like Fire Emblem as well. So, what about you, Dart? Uh, I'm also working on the randomizer itself, so my stream is kind of occasionally. Sometimes it's like playing a weekly race, which I haven't done in a long time. But when I do a stream, sometimes it's mostly testing random stuff. So it feels like my stream is actually the best way of getting sneak peeks of new features. Mm -hmm. I think Dark's stream was actually the first time the multi-world was showcased for Metro Prime 1 and 2. Yes. Which, and then that was eventually shown up, I think, in Skybill's show, too, in, yeah. um, in Random Number Generator a few months ago uh, as a gonna... Metroid Prime 1 to multi world randomizer with Dark Zero and Bash Prime. Yep. Okay. Check that. Delicious. And there's even a tourney going on for that right now on the speed gaming channels. So that's pretty exciting. Are, oh, yeah, are any of y'all competing in that tourney? I, I am not. I like, yeah, I like watching people suffer. <laughs> there are a lot of people who are very good at Metroid Prime 1 and 2. <laughs> yeah, so like we mentioned Xeno Wars. Um, there was a seed that Xeno Wars did in the tourney a few days ago where like the Metroid Prime 2 player did not get Dark Beam for like over almost two hours. And that is like a essential item early game. So that was just very hilarious and painful. Dread does not yet have multi-world. Yeah, Dread, no, yeah. to be clear, Dread does not have multi-world yet. Yet. <laughs> I do have okay. something in the works, but it's up now. I noticed Zeno in chat said that wave shouldn't be required, so... Is that an error? I'm not sure, I, I just opened the seed log for the seed you're playing, and it's... It shouldn't. It, uh, it doesn't have the options that need enabled. Okay. Well, I'm gonna play as if I don't need wave, and then we'll see. You're pretty close to Hanupi. Sort of close, right? Oh, you didn't open this the, path. I need. To, that's this is fine. Um, I need to do Elon. All oh, right, because you can just suit it. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. But I need to do Elon, so I need to do the backwards Gavarin route now that I have Plasma. Yeah, normally uh, you can't go this way um, because you have to unlock this path from the other side in Gavarin using Grapple Beam and Ice Missiles, but there's a but trick you can cool. do to grapple from the other side. And it's cool, yeah. Yeah, uh, Anubia, uh, which is the area just below Itorash, the last area, has a couple of Wave Beam bars and also some grapple locks, uh, which makes you require to get uh, have a wave and other 
And Forest you guess you're coming from Lozona, which also Wait, implies you need cross bombs and release decks. So one of the changes we are working recently to improve the the dread render because like needing all these things every time is kind of boring. Mm -hmm. Is that we have an option to remove the wave pin doors in the top of Hanubio. Uh, and we also have an option to remove some grapple blocks on the entrance from Ferenia. So you don't you can know anything from the back. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Yes! Are you gonna do the funny thing? Let's see how many tries it takes. So this is a trick where you're like kind of intended to have ice missiles. Because you can freeze those platforms, which a lot of people didn't know. But like you can like barely you have oh, barely enough close. time to yank that grapple block before the platform disappears. That should be it. Nice. Yeah. And I Third try. I have a I have a big feeling that that was intentional by the devs. Yeah. Like, you I were you were intended so. to use ice missiles, but hey, if you're really optimized with your movement, you can get it without ice missiles. There are so many clearly intended sequence breaks. It's quite fun. Just checking these guys. Oh yeah, shout out to the bug. <laughs> the X have not been released, so if you kill one of these gooey creatures yeah, that are supposed to turn into X, well, they're, they're just, having some fun. They're just chilling. Don't worry about them. <laughs> someone in chat asked yeah, someone you just can said freeze that, them? That, that, you can freeze them? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little known fact. Technically, I think this is all still super out of logic. Okay. I want everyone to take a look at this. See this flipper? It's a trap. Don't hit that flipper. I'll show you why. Screw attack is still hard required. Gravity suit was never hard required. Progressive Think Beam in Berenia. That was a real no. plasma. Oh, he... Yeah, no, that was. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah you I found plasma there. Yeah, you're right. That was plasma. It could be plasma. But, you know. Hey, Ice Emmy. Hi, Ice Emmy. Bugs. How many runs did they queue? All right, the yeah. deer are gonna teleport instantly. I'll be fine. Back. This grapple block is the reason we did not pull that flipper. Yeah, that grapple block blocks so much. Like if we got the early super missiles, that block is the reason why you can't really do anything else, basically, unless you yeah. came you gap ran through the front door. So that's what we were talking about earlier. If I had flipped that flipper and done Elon, after doing it, I would have ran into that block and been forced to take the elevator to Dairon and waste several minutes. Whoops. Oh, I'm gonna go hit the flipper now. It is very much hit the flipper time. By the way, space jump is somewhere in Gavarin, but we'll see if I find it. It's nice, but it's not essential. Mostly, I'm banking on the Hanubia hint telling me where Wave is. Hey, make sure you have Spider Magnet, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you you kind of need Spider Magnet for that. Yeah. Wait, wrong way. Oh, hi. That there block looks is. familiar. Hmm. There's that block we were talking about. Now everything's fine. Oh, the whale. Unfortunately, Bash, we did remove the feature where the Hanubia hint always told you where Metroid suit and Hyper Beam were. <laughs> yeah, th those are like randomizable, but I know that they're pretty buggy and cause a lot of issues. Eh, well, yeah. Metroid suit doesn't break anything. It's just so boring to have in the pool. Yeah, fair enough. Um, Hyper Beam. Don't expect Hyper Beam to be logically shuffleable. Uh, 
don't think it's possible without the Fire mag Magnet. So it kind of needs another Hikaru item, if you need to do the building. Yeah, but I Fire Magnet is surprisingly pretty important too. It might be still needed, even if you enter from Venenia. But yeah, it's kind of the reason why you made, made an option right. to open the front of the back. So for uh, Elon here, you might be thinking, oh, why don't you just go through the plasma door since you have plasma? The reason I don't is because touching the exit of this Morphal Launcher right there, that is what triggers the X to be released. Yeah. Doesn't work otherwise. Okay. Oh. Ooh, interesting. Nice. What was I supposed to? Um, I could have gotten here through Berenia, like the Drogaga path. Nice missiles. Yeah. But oh, I I'm gonna full clear Elon, so I'm gonna go down. Or no, I'm. A... So what are we looking for? Wave. Right. Okay. Because we're pretty sure wave is actually required. So now I'm gonna go down, and there's the X after two hours. Uh, 144. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, that's nice. Three progressive missiles? It should no. just be two progressive missiles. Four missiles Super are separate. Than ice. Yeah. Hey, this looks familiar. Yep. We. We sadly can't shuffle the missile launcher. One day we will, but right now, someday, it's, it's not a thing. Huh? Oh. Do you guys know these fights? Really cool, interactive fights against the Chozo warriors. Very interactive. It's not, they're some of my favorite boss fights in the game. Nope. Uh, ima imagine if you just started the game with power bombs every time. Whew. That was a close <laughs> one. Oh yeah, very yeah. close. Yeah. You can tell I don't have strong opinions about that. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I was, when I was playing, I was still fighting these bombs, even with power bombs. I, I, kinda, I, I forgot to actually play it. When you do plant a power bomb, um, all the X do actually move towards where you planted a power bomb, just like in Metroid Fusion. Which is pretty cool. It's just not as obvious because the, the X move a That's lot neat. more slowly than in Fusion. I didn't know that. Yeah, like next time you plant a power bomb, just kind of pay attention to where the X fly. You'll notice. Well, it didn't kill anything. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just checking the last item in here. Uh, Nothing. Missile. Okay. So they do. Kind of a cute detail. This game is, is just cute. a giant love letter to fusion. Like, there's just so many fusion references in this game. On top of like, not even just like chronologically, but like, there's a, you can just tell the devs really love fusion. This game. The damage of the missiles, uh, super missiles, and ice missiles is the same as in yeah. <laughs> in fusion. It's like in fusion, uh, you have normal missiles, supers, and ice missiles, and diffusion missiles. So that's four missiles, missile types. They do 10, 30, 40, 45 damage. In this game, um, your normal missiles, super missiles, ice missiles, and one set of storm missiles do 100, 300, 400, and 450. Neutral damage. That that's not taking into account vulnerabilities and stuff. Yes, which so, uh, which most enemies we're do not have. have the chance to talk about vulnerabilities too much because I ended up getting ice and I'm gonna need wave. But, right. The point being, the damage values um, are pretty much exactly the same as in fusion. Should I do ice enemy? No. No. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. You guys both know ice enemy is wave. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, well, can you power bomb that still? Just to see what it is? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Please. 
we haven't gotten a hint for it or the wave beam, I believe, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do ice enemy. And we know that space jump is in Gavran somewhere, so that will be nice if we find it. Oops. Yeah. Helpful. Like, if this ends up being space jump, I'd be happy. Rarely seen actual ice Emmy. <laughs> ow, ow. Run! Okay. Phew. All according to plan. We're only seeing Ice Emmy, and then instantly already murdering you. And before you fall into Ice Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Use those powers responsibly. <laughs> That can, yeah, that can happen. That's why I always Phantom Cloak there when I fall there. <laughs> uh, that was... That flash up useful. Would have thought. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, yeah. Like, this fight's kind of a puzzle fight. You're kind of, like, intended to try to lure it to the ceiling, and then you kind of have a nice, clean, long shot to chip away at it, as in case if you want a ceiling. It took a while to figure that out casually, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is wave beam. <laughs> Trust me. I'm space jump. I'm calling it. Space jump. See, I wouldn't see, be mad at space jump. Purple. Come on, space jump. Mm. Come on, space jump. Ugh. What did I tell you? Bad. Missiles. Wave beam, just like I said. <laughs> there, Worth it. Is there anything else you need other uh, you can find other than wave? The only thing I could find is Space Jump. Oh, it's Space Jump, too. Yeah. yeah, we have every major item now, I think, besides Wave and Space. What else have you not... Oh, yeah, you haven't fought, fought Bulzuna yet, so that's two checks, basically. Yeah. So your Space Jump's probably there. There are a lot of places Wave could be. No, we've already found the nothings in this seed. Whee! So, fun fact, Golzuna, I believe Golzuna takes 50% extra damage from Ice Missiles. So, Ice Missiles are really good on him. We'll see if I can make this work. Of course, if you can get this, then it won't matter. Nope. Unless? Nope. Aww. <laughs> Aww. I tried. Okay. Yeah, so, so annoying. Okay. Ice oh, I was wrong. It's double damage. So yeah, Ice Missiles normally do 400, but you can kind of see it doing 800. Oh my god, the Storm Missiles. Yeah. Storm Missiles are also quite good against this boss. Yeah, like the Storm Missiles are pretty interesting in that like they're not better than like rock spamming missiles or well, Ice Missiles or Supers. If you just spam them in terms of raw DPS, but they're like better if you have, usually better if you have the time to charge them. Yeah. Which is how they should be. It's kind of like your Charge Beam. Charge Beam is not worth spamming Charge Beam, but if you have the downtime during a fight to charge, then it's worth it. All right. I'm really hoping that Hanubia hint is about wave. Otherwise, we might be in trouble. Eh, you got you got over an hour. There it is. Okay. Oh. Face jump. Face jump. We can also just check Hanubia. See if the lock's there. Yeah, it could, it could be in Hanubia. No, just see if the. Could it be? Just check if the lock is there. Oh, I don't think it could yeah. Be. It's yeah, gonna that's be, true. But... 
I believe the grapple beams are further for the back. They're not there, but... But the wave doors... The okay. wave doors are there. Yeah, the boss health bars, those are a cosmetic option in Randominia. It We literally just change a text file to say true instead of false, and it adds health bars to the bosses. <laughs> Very convenient. Um, while I'm doing this, I did, forgot to talk about myself uh, in my stream, so I'll do that now. Oh yeah, good time. Um, sure. I stream rather infrequently. Sometimes I'm playing this game. Sometimes I'm playing Cave Story, either Randomizer or I. I do. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, I have Space Jump. It's fine. But but Chinese either Randomizers cool. or I also speed run Best Ending for Cave Story, but I haven't done it in a long time. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Shame. It's okay, you get to show off more of the game. Yeah. If you have another to hour to do so, might as, of we have an extra hour to do so in front of 2,000 viewers, you might as well. <laughs> um, and then the other game that I stream is uh, the other game I speedrun. It's my own game. It's called OG's Oh No Thanks App. <laughs> it's called OG's Oh No My Rabbits Are Gone, and it's the sickest speed game you've ever seen. Trust me. Um, I believe like two of the three other runners are in chat <laughs> for the for bunny game Villa test game rules okay so the nice. grapple box are gone okay we do need wave yeah that wasn't need wave. Tank. this takes you back to Ferrani, i think yep which is convenient because that's i think that's the least explored area in general yeah but yeah, every Wave time I show off on a speed run. Oh geez, I know my rabbits are gone. It's my favorite speed game. Hapax, another speedrunner of that game, it's confirming. It's so sick. We just got a TAS a uh, month or so ago that Ooh. beats the game in almost just shy of sub two minutes. Um, I hold the world record in 99% glitchless, which is real 99% glitchless is a real category um, and that's a 45 minute category so glitch to any percent is two minutes long just the <laughs> just yeah. as a reference you know, I, I love it when that happened <laughs> uh. so yeah you can often find me uh, playing that as well definitely drop a follow to dunk god almost oops I think y'all do deserve a follow. I've been plugging away here. Uh, for folks watching on YouTube, please do follow both the runner and the commentators. Uh, the runner is twitch.tv slash dunkathan underscore salt. That's D-U-N-C-A-T-H-A-N underscore salt. Uh, and our lovely commentators, that is twitch.tv slash kirbymasta, K-I-R-B-Y-M-A-S-T-A-H, and dark zero, twitch.tv slash D-A-R-K-S-Z-E-R-O. Thank you. Thank you too. Some of the bunnies have flippers. So, Dunk, um, how often have people made jokes about PJ Salt email because your name has the word salt in it? Um, surprisingly few. Most people don't associate it with saltiness. It actually comes from saltine crackers. Oh, I see. Mm hmm. Oh, God, wave at music. Active. <laughs> Wait, is it not supposed to be? Well, it, it's only active after releasing the X, and I just... Oh, you it did. It's so oh, you, rare. It, is this a soft lock if this isn't creepy? It's so... No, it's not a soft lock. It works fine to do the fight. Oh, I mean, I like, can you get out without waving? Uh, without wave? Uh -huh. No. Maybe I should... Is there a better way to go? I can't leave. No point. Low checkpoint. Yeah, I'm gonna low checkpoint now. Yeah. You're right. So you did save. <laughs> I think okay, I you saved Adam, recently, but... ish. At the hints, at the very yeah, useful grapple beam hints. But I'd rather. Dead. I'll check that later. I wanna. I'll do SQ first. Wait, what? 
Oh, uh, oh, okay. Huh? Oh? <laughs> Finding bugs live on the GDQ what? hotfix. Huh? <laughs> Dark, have you ever seen that? No. <laughs> well, that's never happened before. Huh. Yeah, that's new. Alright, okay, you already got the item here. You haven't checked the SQ area. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do the SQ. Oh god. Run. Storm missiles and SQ. Very satisfying, if I remember correctly. Did I show off storm missiles on SQ even though I have a uh, screw attack? Y yes. <laughs> okay. In my opinion, this is your chance to just, show off a randomizer. Just for you, Kirby. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, just for you, Kirby gets caught by Wave Emmy. Thanks. I feel very. This is loved. what happens when I do things for you, Kirby. Please. <laughs> I feel on. very appreciated. Oh, is that a vanilla bug? Is he? Interesting. I hope it is a vanilla bug. We don't touch the grapple, uh, the blocks, yet. Yeah. Yeah. I believe this is based off of version 1.0.0, so like unpatched. Red. Uh, well, this is 2.0, actually. Oh, it is? Okay. It's not All right, because you're playing yet. a rookie mode, yeah, of course. Because I haven't gotten around to getting 2.1 support in place, but yeah. I'm mean, who played with 1.0? Because I just have it updated. <laughs> What's up here? I found this puzzle pretty clever, honestly. There's a lot of ways to do it, but it's a nice use of. It's kind of an interesting way to like force you to use power bombs or maybe use oh. cross bombs. Damn it! A lot of different ways to do it. Is it possible without power bombs? Yes. I, I personally just I personally just fall in the gap on the right and press one cross bomb and I climb yeah. back. Your placement cross bomb there. That was, but I have seen people do do it your way. <laughs> you know, that's why this game's awesome, because there's they clearly just have a lot of intended different solutions for a lot of these puzzles. That's just a safe right, station, right? right? Show it to me. No. Yeah, that's just the safe station okay. from yeah, the other I, side. I don't remember if it was an atom room. There's SQ. So this boss normally gives you Storm Missile, so you de absolutely cannot do this in a vanilla game, typically. Yeah, you'll never be able to do this in a vanilla run, but... It's because it's, it's satisfying. the boss that gives you Storm Missiles, but we have Storm Missiles, because it's a randomizer. Just, just take a look at this. Look at how much it melts that health. Oh, come on, oh. don't hit me this much. Mean patterns, but... Yeah, Storm Missiles are supposed to do, like, extra dan like. A lot of enemies are immune to certain forms of damage when they electrify, but Storm Missiles and Screw Attack, for that matter, are effective. And plasma, enemies I think. Or no, I'm thinking of regular electric stuff. Not, not electric, yeah, like, me there's metal. A, there's like a few like jellyfish enemies underwater that also electrify themselves, and you can't damage them with your beam. Notably, you can still Storm Missile this guy, but it won't lock on. It'll only lock on the one time, which isn't the way that it works for Golzuna. You know, that's about the best thing you can hope for. That's not way beam. I guess. Yeah. But now what? <laughs> that's now it's Vanilla Wave. Now I save and do Vanilla Wave. So like, what else have you not done in Perania? We don't have a hint for it, right? Not a lot. We don't have a hint that I'm aware of. It's basically just vanilla wave. Is there anything in, in here? here? Have you checked the item near the train, train station? Yeah, ran. Oh, you know what? I didn't. Oh, you haven't I checked didn't that check one. Yeah. This one, and I haven't looked at that one. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Okay. So, yeah, you haven't checked the fancy item next to the train. I forgot to look at the one, and then yeah, there's this fun speed booster train one. It's the fastest okay. way there. I'll go through this way. Yes, where the bean can be Dude. anywhere. Ow. Oh, what a shocker. I'm so not used to Wave Emmy being around. 
Hey, that's what the randomizer is for, having a new experience, am I right? <laughs> the new experience is supposed to be not seeing Wave Emmy. <laughs> uh, that, that's true. That's a fair point. <laughs> uh, there's an option that is just added. I actually need to finish adding, adding properly, which is having the axe released by default. Because yeah, that one could be interesting. Uh, this isn't quite right. Let's like you, you could probably still see the item if you plant the power bomb. Um, yeah. And cross bomb across. Okay. okay. Then down. You can reach this bomb block without space jump. You have ice it's missiles. True. That's in logic. Using ice missiles to freeze the enemy below that block. Or gravity and spider miss. <laughs> spider missile. As I as I mentioned before, spider like Mega. water rooms are like both really comp cool There's and so also. There's so many ways. Okay, it's not yeah. Bad. Like the entire logic chain for that room is just ridiculously complicated. Because again, like you have so many movement options without gravity, but you also have even more yeah. movement options with gravity. So you kind of have like two different sets of logic to write for every room with water. Maybe the lower Burania, like the, gra the, gra the gravity area. We haven't checked the gravity area in Burania yet. I think we backed out no. after thinking we, we did. needed didn't need wave. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll yeah. do Cyan before I do Wave Wait, Amy. Ha have you not checked the item next to the elevator to, um... Oh, Dairon? To the left? Uh... To Dairon? Oh, no, you already... You already, that was, you already okay. that was the first beam. Yeah. When they right. bailed us out. This seems fun. But very complicated. But very rewarding. This is such a wacky seed. Yeah, so at this point, Bernia is probably the most dense area because there's like half of it we haven't really explored. Probably more than half, relatively speaking. You also haven't checked the item in Cold Arteria next to the elevators. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because you didn't ask her. Yeah, yeah, time. from yeah. the. So I was. That's, that's probably, probably where you want that. Yeah. Through this. Yeah. You probably want to end your brain you know, there. Yep. Oh yeah, there's crumble blocks there, by the way. But how I'm gonna start my Burania cleanup? Going up, yeah. Is by not fighting a boss. I don't think I could now, even if I wanted to. You didn't fix it. Wait, um, I don't, I don't know if that's in. Should I check? Ah, you can do that later. Okay. There is an a navigation room um, in the gravity suit area too. Yes. Oh yeah, there is. That could have our wave beam if we still haven't found it yet. Okay, so that item was nothing. So I'm just not gonna bother. Forgot that you can see it up front. Uh, there's there's the item next to yeah there's the night and death below the boss isn't that this one oh you can see it oh you oh oh you can't see okay You're right yeah oh nice I didn't realize that I was a little confused <laughs> that just felt like that would be way too far to see from there but oh huh, yeah I learned yeah it's kind of a weird layout over there uh well, we 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 have 50 minutes we'll we'll find it. We'll find it. We'll it's find fine. It. Right. I definitely <laughs> thought that this had the wave door fix. Yeah, I'm uh, not sure why. I thought we made it with the fold, but... Yeah, something happened, but... There, there's like a blob in the wall here that you can shoot from like four different spots <laughs> that all matter diff in different ways logically. It's very interesting, to say the least. See, like you can do that. I'm gonna check the storm block. Yeah, this item is normally an energy tank. 
power bomb. Okay. Now we're about to check what's in vanilla gravity suit, and there's also an item below it that's normally a power bomb tank. Baby? Nice. Yo! Yep. Sick. Oh, nice vanilla power bomb tank. Ooh, yeah. more RPBs. Lol, that opened the blob. <laughs> Uh, miss okay. missile. So this entire room changes. Cause like, there, there's like a mm -hmm. giant top that you knock down with grapple beam at the top, and that just completely cuts his path off. It's very also, interesting. I'd like to point out, some people may think that Phantom Cloak isn't a good item. I'd like to raise you this room. <laughs> yeah, uh, good luck relieving this room without Phantom Cloak. <laughs> The random it, check for it, Phantom it's just Cloak. It's such a random check for Phantom Cloak, I know. And like, so, I know some criticism I've heard people say is like, why bother having these locks there? Just, and it's like, I think they're fine to have because they're a way to force the player to remember that you have this tool. I think that's fine. Like, I, I've seen some people like play Super Metroid for the first time and they just forgot that Charge Beam exists because you never need it anywhere. All right, so I want everyone to look at the map. Okay, great. The tiles changed. Now I can go through. Oh, yeah. If I if you go there if too I early, hadn't waited. <laughs> I hadn't waited, then um. Oh yeah. Things wouldn't have Bad been great for me. Oh yeah, very difficult fight coming up here. I would have died instantly. Yeah, it would have been out of bounds. And this game treats out of bounds as insta death. In case you didn't know. Yeah. Take those. Um, I think that's everything besides that's outside the path to our car, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. okay. Oh, have pretty... you checked the early, the, what's normally the vanilla missile tank plus? Which one's that? Uh, the shortcut to gra early gravity. Um, no. No. And there's also, um... Oh. Thank you, There's the item in the room that you drain the water. Should I? Yeah, there is. I mean, there's an item to your right, so you might as well check that. I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'll go this way, check the item here, and then I'll come back. Yeah, so there's the early gravity checkpoint, and there's also the item with the raft. In, in the room with the raft. I think that's the check left for me, yeah. Are there any checks left in your tutorial? Artaria? There's one right here. No, but other than this one. I'm not sure. Uh, Artaria has so many items. I want to say no. Um, Valian, Dread Rando is almost always every major item right now. We're working on fixing that, but it's kind of the way things are in Dread Rando anyway. Gonna open up a map, Artaria. I think you've full cleared it outside of I'll the take item it. here. But. Uh, Sigma Whisperer, that room requires wave beams, so it wouldn't do much anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's everything. Um, oh, except for this one, but I did you check, check that. It was nothing. Check You've checked it. that, yeah. yeah. Checked it. Yeah, and then I've checked this, though. So. I think you're good to go. I think you folked it off, yeah. Should I go to blue? There's definitely stuff in Kataris. Kataris absolutely should have stuff, yeah. I'll go to blue. You didn't even kill Demi in Katari. Um, someone oh had God, asked yeah. why is most randomizers on my show end up being near 100% clears. Y'all know there's a curse on this show. It doesn't matter how vetted or unvetted the seed is. It's just the way it goes. <laughs> we made a mistake, and, and we were intending to show that not did the wave. Uh, this would not have happened. Of course. Yes. And there's, there's plenty of stuff in Katara's you haven't seen. Um, where am I going? What am I doing? I wanted to go to blue. I'll I said, I'm going to go to blue, and then didn't. Did it. <laughs> and then did not that. <laughs> and it went quite far, actually. <laughs> Nobody stopped me. I, 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 was, I, I was thinking. I was looking at the Kataris map, okay? <laughs> I wasn't watching. I was thinking. <laughs> oh, imagine thinking in a randomizer. 
Wait, I do this. Yes, up door. Yeah. Oh. That's nice. Just as you know, gra grapple beam's pretty important. <laughs> Didn't know that. Still, those are broken. Depending on how there's four teleportals in Cataris. And Cataris is pretty massive. It's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, people are mentioning the uh, shoes in your. Uh, there's a secret in this game, actually, which is kind of surprising. Uh, the first time you enter into Rush, the last area, the game unlocks all the teleport portals, so you're free to, free to uh, teleport between any of, any of them. Mm -hmm. But that's... So if you're one of these persons, like me, that did 100% before entering into Rush, because yeah. it felt like they were the correct thing, yeah, that's the thing in the game. Yep, so you can go teleport between go? any teleports once you enter it. I'll go down. Is that right? Or what's the fastest way to the Emmy? Yeah, none. None of these. Hey, oh, yeah, the Emmy's oh. so far. Like, might as well just. Get no, I'll away. go. D there, there's no good way to do this. <laughs> there's no good way to wrap this cleanup right now. Yeah, so there's the item in the upper right corner. Yeah, I You're checked that. That's a PB. Oh, I see. Okay. okay, you can check that from above. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, this doesn't do anything for me Wait, to actually go you. in there. You already know that's in so the plus. I'll yeah. just go this way. Ah, uh, you have to enable stuff, your freak. There is the yeah. There's the item right below. Oh, you have to check that already. Um. Everything's fine. Um, where's the? Oh, I should have should have done the thermal order. I should have checked wave Emmy. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just hope it isn't wave Emmy. Uh, we don't know how to do that. Broccoli, maybe, but we need to investigate oh. it. That looks useful, by the way. Mm hmm. I think if we're locking the enemies, it was just a function call, so maybe easy. But yeah, I like it being interash, but we have uh, something in mind to make getting to interash without being in go mode a thing. I never remember where the. You, you, you can just go straight up when you enter, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Another I like how you're using Sufa. <laughs> I've had diffusion the whole scene. And I still go, oh, fine. Storm missile in. Storm missile in. Can I storm missile? I don't know, actually. I can. Okay. I don't know if it's <laughs> worth it. <laughs> it probably would have been if I did it at the start. There is a check in this room besides Emmy itself, but I think we've already seen it. Yeah. In this room? Yeah, like when you go down left corner. I think. Mm. Oh yeah, the bread can to make you use nice. your mothball. I always get scared that, that I'll miss that, because it kind of does a flip when it tries to crawl through the tunnel space. Yeah. Usually I don't actually uh, break it before it crawls through, so I'm happy with that kill. Please. Please. Oh. Let's go for, for wave enemy. I should check wave enemy. It kind of makes sense. You know they would have let me play a seed with wave enemy, right? <laughs> <laughs> like that's 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 the problem here. What is this? Okay, nothing. nothing. Uh, uh, um, yeah. there. You haven't checked the item that we 
requires wave, so never mind. Yeah. There's the item above the experiment. You don't know what that is, I think. Do you know what I haven't checked? Ooh, the item uh, above the experiment. Yeah. There's that, that one, but there's also back. there's um the bomb block in lava next to Kraid. Because I didn't have bombs. When yeah, you there. haven't checked that. You're right. Oh. We're right. Uh, how convenient. You're like right there. Yeah. That time I was already mashing shoots, so. Oh no. There's a crate in the way. <laughs> crate is not in my way. What item are we looking for? Wave beam. Yep. That's the go mode. And the last item. One of the most game breaking items. <laughs> Revenge of hubris. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, so this is the item he was talking about. You need bombs for this. Okay. Oh, yeah. Energy tank. Um, but then conveniently, this takes me right here. And I can very quickly go check the item above experiment. Yeah, so there is one more item that we're about to pass by, but like it requires wave. So, like, unless yeah. the logic is bugged, we. It can't be waved. We don't need it. Yeah, this um, item requires crew attack, so it's see. actually kind of spicy. What other items we might have missed? There Ooh. it is! Oh, nice. GG. All right, go mode. Let's do this thing. All right, now to get to Itarash. Quickly. Orange. Yeah. Somehow. Uh, yeah, teleport to Gavran. That's orange, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Because orange put me right there, uh, this way. Like the two main ways to get to Irash is either Perenia, which requires opening it from above in the first place, I think, um, mm. or going. Uh, not anymore. We removed the grapple blocks. Oh yeah, you removed the grapple blocks, right? But it needs wave to do that. Um, but Gavran's gonna be faster because yep. we already took that route. Yeah. Either way, you need to get there either through Gavran or Perenia. And there's a teleport here straight to Gavron, man. Immediately. And like right next to the Anubia elevator. This takes you to the very top of Gavron, which is where we want to go. Yep. Okay. How do you feel about the Ravenbeak fight with, what, like 1,000 health? Is that how much I have? Uh, I'll be you fine. have a lot. You're you're probably. Yeah, it's a lot. Raven Beak. I don't get it much in Raven Beak. Raven Beak ends, ends up being you either have not enough or way too much. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get hit. Oh, zero. yeah, I have, I have more than enough. I, I get hit zero times. Get on my level. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby, I've established I'm bad at video games. Come on. <laughs> I don't speed run this game. Yeah, your hitless run doesn't even count. Come on, you know that. You should have done it. There have been people who like commented on my Hitless Run video that's saying like, oh, this doesn't count because it's not on Dread on dread difficulty. And I'm like, bro, really? This came out? This, that, that just rubs it in because it's like, I did it and then Dread Mill came out right afterwards. I'm yeah. just so annoyed. So, I never opened Oh, that that's well, awkward. That's funny. I mean, it's fine. It's not a big exception. deal. It's just inconvenient. Yeah. Fine loss. I particularly Oops. like when Red came out. Kirby was saying, I'm, I'm not speeder than any. I'm not speeder than any. They're like. <laughs> and then they started, uh, started going, doing every single challenge possible. <laughs> so we could avoid. So we could technically not speed run the game. <laughs> I can't help. This game's fun. As we are in go mode, I do want to thank y'all for being on here. This has been a ton of fun, and I really appreciate all the hard work y'all did to get to the randomizer, even to this stage, to have on random number generation. So thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure to have it. I'm glad that it didn't cr it didn't even crash once. Shh. Oh yeah. That it, it made me nervous, <laughs> but like. Half the randomizers we What's have on here make me nervous, so I, I feel that. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. Maybe we were joking, like saying like how the first time I ever finished a uh, randomizer, I see it was yesterday. 
That's because I think I've played five seeds in total, or the more. Every single one of them like was like, "Hey, I crashed. Hey, I crashed again. Hey, there's a bug oh, and I can finish." Oh, now you tell me that. My goodness, I will actually. It's kind of good. I know that now versus before. That I would have really been sweating. <laughs> <laughs> but that was in January, so it's yep. January, February. Whoops. I missed. Or December. We fixed these things. <laughs> yeah, storm missiles are actually pretty good on these fights too. Although if oh, you're, are they? Uh, yeah, they're pretty good if you With have the time. Shields that makes sense. Yeah, because like you, you can't hit them when they have their shield up, so you might as well charge yeah. them. Yeah. I mean, like, if you're sense. a really good masher or you're using turbo, then mashing is probably still faster, but I use Storm Missiles personally a mm. lot. And you know me, I'm always a big fan of making Storm Missiles as like, useful as possible. Yeah, you're a Storm <laughs> Missile guy, for sure. No bias Oops. whatsoever. You cannot powerbomb this, this monster. Yes, the gold one, you cannot powerbomb. You're intended to have powerbomb. I've never tried it on a red one, but I assume you can. Ow, never tried it either. So um, the technically, next... I am playing on an emulator right now, but I normally play on console. I just don't have a capture card. So, what are the next major features that you guys are work going to be working on? Um. Hey. So. I all think this, that's an interesting question to throw out as we're closing up. All this hullabaloo we've been doing, looking for wave and all that, all this like nonsense of getting to hit or ash being go mode. I'm expecting to change that. The idea is that we're going to add in a sort of artifacts system, kind of like the other Prime games have. And so it's actually going to be right in here. You're going to be able to access Interash early, but until you get enough of these like artifacts, so to speak, you won't be able to exit this room. There's going to be an Atom room right here. Um, and it's not going to open until you've collected all the artifacts. Those artifacts actually, are going to... Actually, Sorry? didn't know that. I was just going to say I didn't know that. That's pretty neat. Oh, yeah. Um, these artifacts are going to be placed probably on major bosses. That's why we had, like, that extra item location on Kraid. We're going to be putting item locations on Drogiga and Experiment as well. Um, there will likely be these artifact things on major bosses. And so you'll, you'll come up here, you'll get hints about where, like, which bosses have the artifacts, so to speak. And then because you entered Iterash, you'll be able to use the unlocked teleportal network to go wild, get do all the cleanup and all that. But it's going to hopefully add a lot of variance to the end game. Unlike now, where it's all rather samey. See, and you also, and you also plan on like maybe having those quote quote artifacts distributed among normal items. I mentioned. Yeah, that'll be an option as well. I just prefer the idea of having them on bosses. Yeah. So part of the change we're like making sure to have the. The end, end area are more accessible, so we're you know, locking these things. Uh, other thing that I uh, would both of us agree that like releasing the axe is a critical part of the game, as well as the major boxes. So we would like to ensure that like these things, these features matter in the randomizer because right now you don't kill the crate, you don't do experiment. Because on a maybe in the normal game you never do anything with it. Is this it's, the right damage? I believe so. Oh yeah, one change we made for the last boss. I think I'm just use ice missiles. I can't mash that fast. It doesn't matter for the because right now he has a wave beam and ice missiles. But if you do like some speed run and watch speed runs, you'll be aware that like if you have super missiles, their first phase like does a lot of more damage. Uh, by default, also you have, have plasma beam instead of wave beam. It like murders this boss. Uh, we changed that. It's now the same multiplier weakness because we don't want people to want to just want keep the ping because it does more damage because having a weaker weapon. It's 
Not nice. Yeah, it kind of goes against the spirit of the randomizer in a sense. If you like, if you're encouraged to avoid upgrades, I guess. That's the final boss. As their supers, Ravenbeak are pretty fun, and I'm gonna miss them. However, Plasma Ravenbeak is not nearly as fun. <laughs> Plasma Ravenbeak is triple the DPS of Wave. So with good mashing, it just melts the boss. All right, well, that's Ravenbeak, and now we have yeah. this very difficult fight here coming up. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to show off a weird escape. Rando escape is kind of funny. Oh, yeah, there's another thing. Uh, yeah, as there, like it's it's funny, and it's fun to do the first few times, but it's bad as far as rando design goes. So we we fixed it. Yeah, it's like you you have progressive missiles where you can get supers and then ice missiles, but like it, if you're encouraged to just avoid ice missiles just because of the last boss, and that kind of goes against the spirit of the randomizer, especially since the ice missiles are already not that useful in the first place. Yes, Acid. Ravenbeak takes about three times as much damage from Plasma Beam than he does from Wave. That's what we were talking about. Yep. We changed that for the randomizer. I would say it's more than three times, but yeah. What? It's think, just uh, over three times. Okay, yeah. yeah. The multiplier, I think it's five times, but the Wave, wave is stronger. Mm -hmm. So that power blum stuff there is uh, not normally there during escape. You're supposed to break it much earlier in the game. But I was gonna say that doesn't look familiar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Rando. There's a wave beam door in escape. You know. You know I'm loving these damage values of hyper beam. <laughs> I mean, I'm just noticing all the nine 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 s but it's still not as much damage as cannonball from Metroid Prime 2, which true. is a whooping 500,000 damage per frame. You can't you can't beat cannonball. 500,000 damage per frame. Resbits and Echoes take times 4 damage, I believe, but they take 2 million damage per frame. There's the last cool Shine Spark. Woo! Go cool Shine Spark! Time will be coming up soon. Just yeah, FYI. just about. Oops. And no one saw that. That was almost cool. And... Time. Time. GG. Everybody get your <laughs> GGs GG. out for Dunk. Oh my gosh, that was awesome, y'all. And here we all are. <laughs> yeah, Enormous well. shoutouts to everyone on this list and more. Uh, Zeno and Scoreless Pine were both in here. They, uh, there have been so many contributors who have been so much help in getting this rando up to speed. Um, yeah. The, thanks to everyone in there. Seriously. Ooh. Agreed. Do you all have any last minute shout outs besides what we just saw in the credits? Besides in the credits? Yeah. Like uh, I, I would like to shout out in particular uh, Stuck Pixel, uh, Dread Modder, who has done a ton of behind the scenes work. He hasn't done any specific work on the randomizer, but. He has uh, made a really cool plugin that means we can get this game exported onto console and it takes up 14 megabytes on your SD card instead of 1.4 gigabytes, which is <laughs> an enormous difference when you're fitting multiple seeds on one SD card. Um, he's been an enormous help. And then just everyone else in the modding scene really. Uh, Rando is... One of the, it's probably the first like really big dread mod out there, and it couldn't have happened without all the work that has been established before. So, yeah, uh, this this mod the uh, uh, Nunk mansion uh, is made by, by Shadow, uh, which is great, incredible. I've been modding it actually. It should be able to us mm. to have more control for uh, dread from your computer. I plan to use that for 
most world. So he's been incredibly helpful. There's plenty of other people as well. Uh, sadly, I don't know. <laughs> the name that really comes to mind is uh, Mr. Cheese, known for modding a lot of games yeah. as well. He helped did a lot. Oh, God, he remembers like all the CRCs. Yeah. Where would we be without the CRCs? <laughs> and also, just knowledge and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the uh, the Handomizer, uh, the card for Handovania, the Handomizer. That we work on, we that use it for this. That mm. if you if you're interested in playing or helping, you can come along. Uh, it's not like exactly released, but it's just kind of public access for the build. So, have fun. Mm. Just and if you think you could contribute, please, <laughs> we would love to have more help. Yeah. There's a bucket list of tasks, things to do that's giant, and I don't think it's not done anymore because we don't have enough people. Kirby, do you have anyone you want to give thanks to? Um, not, mu I ha not much. I've just been involved with writing logic, but I haven't done Kirby any. Kirby hates like, everyone involved. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to ask you guys, like, if you had, if you. Mm -hmm. What was gonna? What was gonna say? Like where people can find a randomizer, or like what else would you expect as like the next in your plans for the next few months? Which you already explained the artifacts. Yeah, that's the big and one. Dark um, Zero mentioned having multi-world support with Prime One and Two potentially as well. Things like that. Yeah, I mean th there are other big features that will be in the works. Um, another, another big thing to look out for is elevator shuffle and. Uh, some starting locations. Ooh, where can one find the Dread modding community? That's an excellent question. Does anyone have a link to that server, Dark? I do have, but I don't think I can share it. I can post it. Um, I'm sure it has a link public. Here, let me send that to uh, someone with permissions to post that in the chat. Yeah. That's the Dread modding server, and then there's also the Randovania server, which I think they had linked a handful of times so far. Both of those servers would be uh, good places to go if you're interested in messing around with the rando or editing dread otherwise. Now, since we're just about at the end of the credits, we'll let this play on through and then we'll just take a look at the results screen for mission final. How many deaths? More than oh. usual. Haven't done. Oh, no, oh, you do. Yeah, the music okay. loops. Interesting. Oh, because we made it longer. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. So, what have we got here? Two eighteen clear time. But what's on here? Oh, nine 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 energy. Nine deaths! <laughs> Less than ten. Yeah? Most of my seeds have two or three. <laughs> and and bl bl blame, blame the speed booster, Emmy. You, yeah, you, you can blame me. You can blame me for the ice, Emmy. <laughs> speed Emmy did a lot of that. Right. So yeah, there it is. There's Dread Random. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, <laughs> thank you all again. And um, that is yeah. a number that's less than ten, Dunko. That's still pretty awesome, honestly. That's better than most folks could do at a randomizer this difficult. So well Woo. done. This was a hard seed. The routing was bonkers. Uh, Dino and Pine picked a great seed for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that, that, I, the seed was very interesting, yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, I want to let y'all know this is not the end of our GDQ programming. One last time, I'm going to give you a link to everybody's twitches please be sure to follow dunkathan underscore salt curry vasta and dark zero real quickly remember that flame fatale will be having its next all women speedrunning event flame fatale in late august game and volunteer submissions open may 9th go to gamestonequick.com slash frame fatale for more information and of course tomorrow a little preview may the fourth be with you as tomorrow we have some special games lined up that's all we're gonna say about that however we are not done with our programming tonight coming up next is aimbot with borderlands 3 take it away amy